Hello everyone and peace of Christ all of you. Please invite your friends and let us have some good time. I apologize I'm a little bit late, a little bit, uh, because my internet is not doing good job. So in case we lost internet again, uh, please just refresh your page and we will be fine, I guess. Uh, you know, like, I don't really, like when I go live, I don't prepare for a topic usually, and I never did actually, um, very rarely. Uh, I look at the comment and the comment they give me a topic. So I look at the comment today, just now actually, before when I set up the, uh, the topic. And I found a Muslim, his name is Muhammad Manzoor. This is his name, Manzoor, you know what you can do. I mean, he's born this way. So uh, Muhammad Manzoor said, by spreading wrong information, don't know what he is talking. Mm -hmm. Aha, uh -huh. okay. And then he said, CP should be banned from YouTube. Aha, uh -huh. okay, ban me, you know, we make a new account, what a big deal. People come anyway. And don't spread wrong information about Islam. But this guy is really suffering badly. I mean, look, this Christian prince is bring, bringing a lot of pain. Look how, don't spread wrong information about Islam. Okay, I have an offer for this Abdul and any Abdul. Who is a Abdul willing to call me and show me an information I'm spreading which is not true? Do you remember there's Abdul and uh, with association with other Abduls? They made the videos and the Muslims they start talking about it that they cannot find in my book Six and Allah, the introduction. There is a quotation there. They said, we cannot find it. It's not there. It's not there. This guy is a liar. It's not there. And the Muslims start spreading the videos and blah, 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 blah. Then the video came to me and it took me two seconds to find the reference and I put it in the front of their face. Did they even apologize? His liar, the introduction, the first page in his book, we cannot find this quotation, is not exist. They didn't even know how to read their books. Took me two seconds to show them the reference. So now, you see, instead of uh, making a statement saying he spread wrong information, why you don't call me? You see, and your beard is long. Alhamdulillah. You know, I, I, I bought a broom, by the way. Um, you know, those ones, like, they come with the, with the dust collector, the one you, like, you collect when you are standing, you know? Um, but if I met you before that day, I will not waste my money. You can do the job. And actually, this is why you're afraid to call me, because you know what will happen to your beard if you call me. Now, who is a Muslim? He have the courage and the knowledge to prove me wrong in anything I said. See, they make videos, they will refute Christian press. Yeah, you know, this is like uh, uh, something you do to your kids around you. You know, fooling each other, lying each other. It's okay, this is your business. But it doesn't work with us. You have to prove me wrong. Always when I talk, I show reference. I don't know what's wrong with the internet today. Did I lose my connection? I hope not. It's okay. Something fishy. Okay. Uh, hmm. I know it's wrong. So, as long as long you have knowledge. And you are sure then let us see who spread wrong information then he made let us see another quote here oh this is different muslim this muslim he said his name is abdullah saleh okay abdullah wow shameful you are for such a blasphemy you spread and corruption of Islam and use those Muslims who do not know much knowledge, don't have more. Okay, why you don't call me and give me the knowledge? And we look at their complaint, all of them they are complaining about, okay, I'm, I'm talking to Muslims who have no knowledge. Well, show me one Muslim have a knowledge. Do you remember Zakir Naik when a Muslim woman, she asked him, 
why uh, the women she will not get uh, you know version I mean like the man the man he will get version he said to her sister further all the Quran promised us the word hur, and the word hur is a better word which means it is female and male so sister you are going to get her too alhamdulillah <laughs> the Muslim woman she will get her I am the one who spread wrong information and none of you none of you there's a there's like 10,000 Muslims sitting in the chair none of you stood up and says shame on you you idiot the Quran says they did not bleed those are female and male so who is the one who spread wrong information just because he defend Islam you know whatever you say even if it's stupid you agree with it no problem huh? the word whore is male and female are you sure brother Yes, a brother. Yes, a Karnayak. He says that, brother. <laughs> so what this verse here is saying? <laughs> huh? What? The word whore is male and female? Are you sure, brother? This is just this is your Zico. And the funny, like none of you complain about his English, but all of you complain about my English. Actually, this guy is a spitting machine. Not only he spit wrong information. Look, he made the whore male and female. So now, you know, in the heaven of Allah, your mother, she will have 70 male and here, you know, like, I'm not going to give details, but imagine this. According to Zach and Naik, your mother, she will be so busy. Long line. Hey, you, you cannot pass your, you know, your turn. Stand in the line. Uh, this is the Abdul telling about his mom. She's in the bedroom. Abdul, uh, so, so Zakir Naik, he promised your mother she will be <coughs> by at least 72 too. Alhamdulillah. And none of you get upset? Hmm. So wrong information, this is what they say. But what is the wrong information? They will not tell us. And then look what he said. Uh, these Muslims who do not have much knowledge, why don't you go to Uthman at Balboa Park? Because you know, you lies. We, know, we, offer, we offer this Uthman to call me. And we, you know, every video he make, we make, you know, we can make a hundred laugh about it. Actually, is it this guy who made a copyright claim so I can take the video respond to him down? <laughs> the Tito. <laughs> By the way, we are going to have some fun with him soon. I saw some videos of him with, uh, with, the, with the, uh, David Wood. So he cannot flag them because I will use David Wood videos and we will die laughing. Who is the one who is running from debate? It's you, Muslims. Why I need to go to Balbula Park? Since when I go to Balbula Park? May Allah Balbula you. A person who can debate me, he can debate me anywhere. Balbula, no Balbula. You know, he is hiding behind the burqa. The excuse, he will debate me only face to face. Everybody knows that this is an excuse, so he don't meet me. And don't talk to me. I go nowhere to debate Muslims. Since when? All the work I do, I mean, I do seminars, not online, yeah, but I don't go to debate Muslims. Why I want to do that? What for? Here we go. I just opened my live broadcast. We have 800 now, just five minutes after we started. Which which part can get me an 800 listen live? And here we can show the reference and nobody can lie about it. No need to scream, no need to shout. Let your Balbula call me if he dare. He's a potato. All of you, you do the same excuse. When the tit boy, Mimi Hijab, he said to the Muslim he would debate me, what he did, the coward, he started playing videos. Did you say that? Hang up on me. And he started cursing me and saying bad words. He did not dare to debate me. Who is, who is, all of you. Uh, what his name? I don't, I don't want to share his name. I will fly all the way to America to debate you. All the way to America to debate you. You do not need to fly, potato. If you are a man, give me your Skype. I will call you right now. All of them, they have the same excuse. 
Zakir Naik, he said, he need me to bring 2,000 people with me and fly all the way to Bangladesh. He was in Bangladesh, supposedly. 2,000 people? He said, if you can bring with you 2,000 people, this is in Facebook. I don't know if the guy is talking is Zakir Naik or this is one of his boys. You know, those boys from heaven, you know, the servants. All of them, they have the same excuse. But if I am a different person, all of them, they will call me. Have you ever seen a Muslim saying to David Wood, I will not debate you unless it's face to face? No. They do be, you know, or apostate prophet or yeah, just because they knew they can, you know, they can get away with things there. Not with me. So those excuses you do, they are laughable and we laugh at you. Then, because you know your lies will be exposed, you can expose me by calling me. And what about you call your Balbula, park boy, and tell him, I will, uh, you know, I will be the moderator between you and Christian Prince. I will make you the moderator. What do you think? You put him on the line with me and you are the moderator. And let us see who is going to expose who for lies. Let us continue. Crying kids. Yeah, it's a comedy time. Okay. Now this is a Muslim. He's answering other, other uh, Christians, supposedly. Uh, a Christian, he said to him, Christian Prince, he have degrees. He said, what degrees? I'm embarrassed of him spreading lies about Islam. He's spreading corruption and earning nothing but worth of God Almighty. May Allah guide you all. You see, just to show you the corruption you are spreading yourself, you just said, may Allah guide you all. Isn't the Quran says Allah guide not the Christians? You stupid. Isn't it Allah who said in the Quran that he is the one who deceived, deceived us? Isn't it the Quran says that he is the one who sealed our eyes and our heart? Let us go to the book, the Yellow Pages of Muhammad. In the Yellow Pages of Muhammad, it says the following. Oh. Why somebody don't believe in Allah? The answer is in the Quran. Allah don't want you to believe in him. Read carefully and love. Allah has set the seal on their heart and on their hearing and their eyes is veiled. Like what? Read the verse before it so you can love more. And those who reject the faith is the same to them whether they warn them or not. Okay, why? It's the same. Why? They will not believe. Okay, why? Because Allah, he set a veil on them. <laughs> Have you ever heard? <laughs> so who is the bad here? I mean, have you ever heard of a stupid religion more than this? Hey, Muhammad. Muhammad, he's trying to explain why people don't believe in him. I mean, come on, he is a child molester. So he have a qualification to be a prophet, a Muslim prophet. He go to the house of his own son and he flirt with the wife. So he's perfectly prophet. He kidnap women from their husband and he raped them. So he's qualified to be a prophet. He take the best of the booty, like the biggest TV for him. He's qualified to be a prophet. He is the person who order women to give their boobs to adult. So the husband will not be jealous no more. Perfect. I mean, this is the perfect way to stop men from being jealous. <clears throat> hmm. So if I work as a, as a driver for somebody in Saudi Arabia and the husband is jealous, the wife, she will say to me, let us practice the sunnah of the Prophet of Allah. And you know, when the Muslim, they start practicing the sunnah of the Prophet of Allah, Sunni themselves, they start calling each other names. And you know, they don't accept it. Do you remember the tit boy? Who remember the tit boy? You know the tit boy, right? Tit boy, he is the one who said to me, Christian prince, Christian pre, pre, uh, sexual predator. Why? Because I was quoting his prophet saying, give your boobs to a stranger. Suck, suckle me. Suckle me. He go around and he say the same. Making fun of his prophet quotation. Okay, can I suck your wife tit to make her haram? This is the tit boy speaking to a sheikh. A sheikh. 
Because the Shaykh he said, this is what the Prophet said. Nimi Hijab is making fun of what the Prophet said, and he is asking the Shaykh to suck his wife's tits. Am I spreading wrong information? Is it true that Allah he gave Muhammad verses in the Quran that a woman she have to give her boobs to be sucked ten times by adult? Is that true? Or I'm making things up? And look, the answer, Mimi Hijab will give you the answer. He says, why it's wrong? He believe it's halal. So Mimi Hijab is against the teaching of Allah. This is why we laugh at you all. All of you don't dare to debate me. Because the second you made fun of this, you made fun of the Quran because this is in the Quran. If we go in the Quran, we will find this. Or in the Hadith first. We will find that it's confirmed that Allah He sent the breastfeeding for adult ten times in the Quran. The verse of stoning and breastfeeding for adult ten times was revealed. You see, it's a verse, not verse, verses. The verses of stoning and breastfeeding adult and adult ten times was revealed. Revealed by who? Who is the one who gave Muslims the guidance that you should give your wife an order to give her boobs to the neighbor so you will not be jealous? Too bad, I don't live in a Muslim neighborhood. Otherwise, I was spending my day drinking milk. And by the way, this woman, she don't even have milk. I mean, do you think women, they, like, do you think women, they have in breast, they have a faucet full of milk all the time? Women, they have milk when they have a baby. They don't have milk there. So he was sucking, sucking what exactly? What he was sucking? And what kind of God he go to his bedroom? Ah, okay. So now the guy, he have a slave in his house. And this is slave, you know, he's jealous because the slave is stay with his wife alone. Ah, I have to find a way which the man will not be jealous no more. Okay, tell your wife to give her nipples to the man ten times. Look at this decency. You cannot shake hands with Muslim women, but you can suck their nipples ten times. And you will say to me now, I'm spreading fake information, fake news. Hey Muslims, is that what your website saying? And this is your prophet, a wife saying? This is Aisha speaking. It's narrated that Aisha said, who? Aisha, who is Aisha? By the way, Aisha, she was a Hindu. And she's paid for the, by the Jews to say this, obviously. And here we ask ourselves, what kind of religion, what we are talking about here? Are we talking really about religion? This guy is a crazy man, Muhammad, obviously. He's making fun of people. Who in the world want to believe that there is a God who sent an order to his prophet, revealing verses for him, and the verses to teach the followers that a woman she have to give her breast in 10 different days, in 10 different time to suckle them until he is satisfied. You don't just put your mouth there for a second. You have to stop only when you are set done. Is that a wrong information? <clears throat> Any Muslim would like to say anything? Yeah, do you think Aisha is spreading uh, for fake news? And here, not to forget to mention that those verses are gone by what? What is the excuse? The goat ate it. I mean, who in the world want to believe in such an excuse? Don't the Muslim they say that we memorize the Quran by heart? Who is a Muslim when they recite for us the ten time breastfeeding for adult? As long as the Quran preserved, correct? Not brother, not a single word, brother is gone, brother. Oh, okay. Well, I don't know. The book of Asuyuti says that as an example, the chapter of Al Ahzab used to be equal to the chapter of Al Baqarah, which means there's more than a hundred verses are missing in one chapter alone. Or 110 verses. Any Abdul? Who is willing to recite for us the chapter of a breastfeeding for adult? 
And how in the world the goat ate it, and now you Muslim don't have it? Okay, the goat ate the paper. But did the goat eat the, the memory of Aisha, the memory of Umar ibn Khattab? I mean, did the, I mean, it looked like this goat is ate everything. This goat was going from a house to a house. She ate the memory, the memory card, the memory uh, flash drive, the paper. She ate anything, this goat. To the point, not a single Muslim remember the verse. Who would have believed in this garbage? Okay, the goat ate the, the paper. We got it. Not a single Muslim remember the verse. Anyone? Many Muslim remember the verse. So we find here that the, you know Islam is not anti-goat resistance. Like you know, there's phones like they say water resistance, dust resistance. Uh, theft resistance, whatever, you know. Islam is, uh, the word of Allah is uh, the goat ticket, yeah, that's it. Where we can find the verses now, the goat ate them. Where is the goat? She's dead. Allah knows best. So, who is the one who spread wrong information saying that your God is a decent God, he don't teach, for, you know, bad things? Is, is ordering women to give their books to a stranger is bad or good? Where is the God who ordered women to wear burqa and decency, supposedly? So he ordered them to wear burqa, but then at the same time, he told them you can do muta. And who is the one who spread wrong information saying that the Quran is preserved? When right now we have many Quran, and not only that, even your prophet Mumu, he said that Allah, he gave him seven Quran. What? Yes, brother. Do you see it? And you see that the, the funny here that Muhammad is negotiating with Allah. Allah, he sent him one Quran. Muhammad says, no, I don't accept one Quran, okay? Because my people are slow. Read it. It says there, letter by letter. I'm not the one who's saying that. The prophet was in the present, was a present at the pole, he go to the pole. What pole, man? I thought bikini is haram. Okay, of Bani Ghaffar, uh, Jibril came to him. Jibril came to him when he was in the pool. I hate it when the angel come to me when I'm in the pool. I mean, come on, I'm all day long not busy, and now I'm having fun in the pool, and now you are coming to me. Hey, Kerry. If you spam the text again like this, I will block you. Anyone will spam the text like this, you are a Christian or not, we will block you. Don't act foolish. Watch my video is debunked and Fafifi respond, you are a liar. Why you don't call me and debunk me right now in here, Muhammad Qasim? Guys, there's a guy in the chat, his name is Muhammad Qasim. He make video to debunk me. Can you call me right now and debunk me live? What do you think, people? I have an invitation for you to debunk me live on air. Are you there, Muhammad Qasim, or you are a person who can debunk me when you are alone in your bedroom in front of your wife and your wife, she is doing breastfeeding for adult? Hmm? Muhammad Qasim, you and the one you mentioned, why you don't call me? Obviously, you know, you're no, you're no match, you're afraid. I will call you, give me your Skype right now, I will call you. You see, I'm not using Skype, but I'm, I will do an exception just for you. I will call you in Skype. I did not open Skype for like maybe four months. You over talk, you over talk to me, no problem. It's a conversation, or you guys, you over talk. Isn't it like equal opportunity, you over talk to me? Go ahead. You know what? Forget about overtalk. I promise you. I will give you three minutes to talk and I will not overtalk you. And two minutes for me. I did not overtalk me. What do you think? Three minutes for you, two minutes for me. Uh, do you accept? Muhammad Qasim? 
promise in the front of everybody. Do you accept? I'm making a promise publicly. Are you willing to do it? To debunk me? Three minutes for you, two minutes for me. <clears throat> and I will not talk at all. Actually, I will mute my microphone. Hmm? Are you calling a friend, Muhammad Qasim? Oh, let me download the Skype. He is downloading Skype now. <clears throat> okay. Let me know when you are ready, my friend. So, guys, invite your friends. We have Sheikh Muhammad Qasim. He is going to debunk me. And you will be witnessing a life disaster. How a Christian prince was debunked with no mercy. I'm waiting for you. You do not need 15 minutes to download Skype, my friend. It takes two seconds. Let me know when you are ready. <clears throat> 15 minutes to download Skype. In 15 minutes, I can go to Home Depot. I can buy poison for rats. And I can bring it to the Jewish women who was cooking a goat for your prophet. Brother, how Allah, he will allow somebody to kill his prophet, brother? <laughs> okay, so they cannot kill Jesus, the brother, because Allah will not allow that brother. Okay, that's wonderful. So how your prophet, he died by poison, which is bought cheap, you know, just not even four dollars from the Home Depot. You see, the hadith here is corrupting stuff. It says there in the original hadith that the woman, she went to Home Depot and she bought the poison from there. A Muslim now will make a video about it. He will say Christian Prince is lying. At that time, there was no Home Depot. <laughs> we got him busted. We got him busted. <laughs> no, brother. In the original hadith, brother, it says that the women, the Jewish women, she, otherwise she will, where she will get the poison, you tell me. Where did she get the poison from? So Allah will not allow the Jews to kill his prophet. Okay, who is we are talking about? Isa. No, no problem. How the Jews, they killed your prophet? Slowly. Guys, do you think Qasim will, will really go to Skype to contact me? You see, I made an exception. I'm not using Skype no more. But just for him. Are you there, Muhammad Qasim, or you think we are going to forget about you? I think Muhammad Qasim is going to go. He will say right now, I have to go to Home Depot. Just wait. You are waiting for nothing. He will never come. He will never dare to speak to me. And he is now busy. You know, he, he just remembered that his wife, she asked him to go and buy some nail glue. And why you need nail glue? I'm going to nail you with it. <laughs> Are you there, Muhammad Qasim? All this time is to download the Skype? Are you sure you are downloading Skype or you are not cooking Skype? I think you are, you are cooking Skype. I think you are making a new Skype. I never saw somebody taking 10 hours to make a, to download the Skype. It's taking you so long, brother. Yeah, but you know, uh, uh, pal talk for for a Muslim like this guy is big pal talk. It's not like pal talk for us. Mm, it's very big. So when the Muslim they say we are giving wrong information, they say, "Oh, you're trying to get rid of the hate." Hey, good luck. It's all over the internet. You cannot get rid. Of it. That's it. Too late. You know, this is something they should do. Like you know, uh, maybe uh, two hundred years ago. Even if they try 200 years, you see, the hadith we have now is after they get rid of more than maybe 95% of it is trashed already. Even Ibn Ishaq, he said that there is many, supposedly in their books they're saying, that many, uh, many hadith is not suitable to be 
gluten, we took it off. So already this is after filtering. This is after the filtration. Muhammad Qasim, are you there? Okay, Muhammad Qasim, he took a vacation, I think. Let me make a prediction. Muhammad Qasim, he will not be able to call me because his wife, she told him, you did not, you cannot go live on air unless you wash the dishes first. And you can imagine how many dishes there. Hmm. Anyway, anyone when I would like to call me, if you are a Muslim, you think you can really refute me, feel free. I will give you even time more than me to talk. But if you are a Muslim, by the way, who says, I don't accept the tafsir, I don't accept the hadith, and you start giving me your own meaning for the Quran, then we don't need to talk. You are you are a winner already. You, you won, you know, that's it. I'm talking to Muslim who believe in Islam. Muslim who believe in Islam is those who believe in the Quran, they believe in the hadith, they believe in the books of tafsir made by their scholars, not by our scholars. So I'm not asking you to believe in a book written by me. And by the way, my book in Russian, uh, Quran and Science in Russian, is going to be published very soon. Actually, I was planning to publish it today, but then uh, a friend said, uh, let me read it first to see if there's any mistakes in the Russian grammar. And then after we check and if there is any correction to be done, then we will publish it for free again. So now we will have two books in Russian for free. Okay, forget about Muhammad Qasim, obviously. Is gone with the wind. So let us go to the second comment or third comment or fourth comment, whatever it is. Abdullah Saleh said, <clears throat> answering the person, his name practice dream. Oh, so you believing in one God is and his messenger and worshiping God Almighty alone is evil? <whistles> That's deep. You know, hear how the Muslim he can get you busted. Look, how you can say that this is evil if you believe in one God, hey Abdul, who cares if you believe in one or ten? If your one is evil. Here is the challenge. Is the God of Islam is an evil God or not? So, okay, now supposedly, you see the Muslim when you say we believe in one God, supposedly he made victory by saying that one God. Uh, first of all, where, where, where the Quran says, uh, if Allah want to take a partner, he will take it from ourselves. So how Allah is one, yet he want to take a partner from us. Us who? You see, either your God is one, or your God is many. Is he one or many? If he is one, then he will not say, if we want to take a partner, talking about talking, taking a wife, we will take it from us. Us who? So the first thing a Muslim he come to you, we worship one God. As if like it's like a, like a discovery channel. Like wow, one. Who cares if it's one God or not? The, the 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 question is: Is your God is true God or not? Your God, he said to Muhammad, read it three times. Still Muhammad cannot read. If he is a true God, even in Muhammad a donkey, he will read in our languages. If my God now he speak to me, he says, speak in Hebrew. Okay, I do not know Hebrew. I was about, right away, I start Shalom. Start talking Hebrew. The disciple of Jesus, according to your books, that the, when Jesus told them to go and teach and preach, they told him how we are going to teach different nations. Jesus told them, don't worry. They walk up in the morning, every one of them speak different language. This is your books. So the true God of Christianity, he can make people speak in tongues and languages. Your God could not. Your God, even Muhammad, he says, that even in Arabic, my people cannot understand your book. Even the Arab, who Muhammad is speaking to them in their language, in their language, not in different language. They cannot understand the Quran and they cannot do it. Read carefully. 
Jibreel come to him and said, Allah has commanded you to make the, your community read the Quran in one harf, harf supposedly uh, like a, a dialect, like one language of the Arabic supposedly. He, the prophet says, I beg Allah, I beg Allah, pardon, please, forgiveness. My community has not the strength to do so. Look what happened. They can't read the Arabic. Your community cannot read the Arabic. Man. At one point in the Bible, it says the man fall and gusted his organ. Uh, okay, let me show you this, Abdul. You see, this is because the stupid you who repeat and copy and paste. It's the same statement, you idiot. A person who was hanged, after his body decay, he fell down and his body demolished. The answer. See how easy it is? The Bible says, one verse says he was hanged, the other verse says his organ came out. His organ came out, if you would like, if I show you right now from your prophet's story, it says, your prophet when he died, they did not bury him for three days. So his belly became so big, full of fart and gas. And if you leave it this way, the belly will burst. This is normal for a dead body, decay. This is what happened here, you idiot. So he was hanged and nobody take him down until his body decay and his belly burst. So one verse says this and one verse says that. We got you busted, Abdul. You are talking to Christian Prince. The question is now, as long as you mention this, what kind of a prophet he say that our Allah, he promised us that the body of the prophet will not be decay. And then the Muslim did not bury him for three days. And then after that, Muhammad Billy became so full of fart. Who wanna debate me about it and challenge me to show the reference? Muhammad he said, Oh, pray on me. Uh -huh. Invoke prayer on me. Not, you see, not a blessing, this is a lie here. They said to him, Prophet of Allah, how we are going to do that and how our prayer will go to you if your body will be decaying? He says, Allah has forbidden the earth from consuming the body of the Prophet. Because of this statement, when the Muhammad he died, the Muslim they did not bury the full Muhammad for three days. And then what happened? The Hadith says, Qad Rabba Batnahu. His his uh, his stomach became so big. <coughs> Is that correct, Muslims? <coughs> I was drinking coffee, and some of the coffee went in my you know the the wrong direction. <coughs> Don't talk and drink at the same time. Not healthy. So I do is true. Let us open the graveyard of Muhammad and see if his body decay or not. It will take two seconds to prove if Muhammad is true prophet or not. Because if his body in the grave until now never decay, that's when Muhammad was saying the truth. But we do not need to wait for 1400 years. This is why when Muhammad died, tens of thousands of Muslims left Islam right away. Because they notice that Muhammad is a liar. Here we go. He promised that his body will not decay. But his body did decay. They did not bury him for three days. <clears throat> Any Abdul? Christian Prince got COVID. <laughs> Look at the Muslims going crazy. <laughs> Look at this guy saying CP gay, CP gay, CP gay. What's, what's wrong with you, Abdul? Come on, take it easy, take it easy. Okay, I will put it for you in the screen. Are you happy now? Are you happy? Okay, here we go. I put it for you in the screen. Now, as long as you mention this topic, is it true that the Muslims, they came to the Caliphate? 
and they ask him that they have a scholar, a sheikh, praying in front of them, and he is homosexual, and he is tempting them. He's what? Tempting them. How he is tempting them? Hey, Muslims, how a Muslim Imam, he tempt you when he pray? He bent over? Any Muslim can tell me what's going on? Huh? <clears throat> Here we go. Let's see the one when they talk about gays and homosexual. This is religion. If you have my book Six and Allah, you would die laughing. I went to Uthman, his name is Uthman, Ibn Affan, while he was be signed, which means he became the caliphate, and said to him, You are the chief of the Muslims in general, and you see what happened fell into you. Like, what, what fell into you? Look at it, big problems. We are led in the salat, in the prayer, okay, by a leader of Al Fitna. Fitna, this is a big word. Fitna, what mean? Trial and affliction, etc. <laughs> what he do, what he do. And we are afraid or being sinful following him. Like, what? Uthman, he said, Salat, the prayer, is the best of deeds. So when people do good deed, do the same. And then the guy, he says, <clears throat> Yeah, okay, so uh, do the same with them, the, the, you know, like do the good deed and avoid the bad deed. Uh, so as Zuhari, he said, in our opinion, one should not offer Salat behind a feminine person unless there is no alternative. <laughs> so look at this guy. He is saying that we Muslims, we are getting tempted by a feminine imam. By what? A feminine imam. Mm -hmm. How he tempts you unless you are a gay yourself. We have Muhammad Manzoor here. How are you, Muhammad Manzoor? Hey, Muhammad Manzoor. If you are praying behind a homosexual imam, how you are being tempted? How those Muslims are being tempted by a homosexual imam who caliphate, he see no problem with him. Can you tell me? Instead of focusing in my face, I see that you Muslims, when you pray, you don't focus on the face. Obviously, the guy is bending over and you are focusing in something else. How you are tempted by a man, he is bending over in front of you, unless you are a gay too. So look at those hypocrites. They went to the caliphate saying to him, oh, the, the imam is a gay. And we are being tempted. Okay, how you will be tempted unless you are a gay yourself? And as long as we are talking about this, there's a Muslim, he says, oh, in the book of Genesis, chapter 24, it says that the servant he hold under the thigh of Abraham to take an oath. He was begging for mercy. I did not do it. Or, he, you know, like, you know, he like he is taking, I'm, I'm not guilty. Please forgive me. You know, please. He hold his leg. Somebody will say to you, oh, it meant he hold his uh, testicles. <laughs> That's the verse there says testicles. <laughs> it says under his thigh. <laughs> so he's holding his leg, begging for mercy. So what about your prophet? kissing men and hugging them and they are kissing him down his belly is that true or fabrication hey Manzoor who is the one who spread wrong information I want you to tell me if this true story is true or not you're a prophet he left his t-shirt the guy he complained to Muhammad, he says, you are doing this to me and I am now wearing no t-shirt, but you are wearing a t-shirt. So the prophet, he pulled up his t-shirt. So now he's topless. Muhammad in the beach. And the man, he starts supposedly some translation, like the translator, he tried to make it look like the man is kissing the prophet. Not the prophet kissing the man, but we don't, it doesn't make a difference anyway. 
So he said to him, you are wearing a shirt, but I'm not. The prophet then, he raised his shirt and the man embraced him. Look, he cannot embrace him with shirt on. He cannot. And then he began to kiss his side. Which side is that? <laughs> it says, uh, the kasha is down the belly. A man is kissing you there, why? You are an infant? Like, you know, some, you know, like people, they like, they, 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 uh, they put their mouth in the belly of that kid. He starts laughing, blah, 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 you know. Uh, okay, uh, we can say this is like a kid, but this is your prophet. He's a man. Why a man kissing him there and he is wearing nothing? Is that a tradition? Are you going to say I'm spreading wrong information? No, it says here, Sahih, Sahih in chain, Sahih or Isnad. See? So, everything those uh, Muhammad and they throw at you, it is what they have, not what we have. What happened to Muhammad Qasim, guys? Did he, this, this guy, this guy, he took the wrong highway? What happened to this guy? He said he want to download, uh, you know, and uh, he will talk to me. Okay, let us go and see more comments. Okay, so believing in one God is evil? Yes, it's evil, because your God is the devil, and we can prove it. What kind of God he order women to give their boobs to strangers? What kind of God he order men to have sex with the children? Right? Muhammad Yusuf, uh, Muhammad Yusuf, if you want to call me, you can call me in Pal Talk. Skype, it was only one offer deal for a guy, his name is Mansoor. You want to call me in Palto? Let me open Palto for you. <clears throat> I don't use really Palto, but this guy, you know, he keep making excuses. So we said to him, okay, we go to Palto, to, uh, sorry, in uh, Skype. So I will open Palto if there is any Muslim. He would like to call me. <clears throat> All right. Try to use your computer, please. Oh, okay. Kim Jong, a Muslim, he is trying to guide me. <laughs> Next, who is a Muslim would like to call me? I am in Pato, waiting for your call. <clears throat> Muhammad Yusuf, text me, and I will call you. <clears throat> so, is worshiping one God uh, uh, alone is evil? Yes, it is evil, because you're, you're, the God you're worshiping is Satan. You know, it's not about somebody you call him God that will make it evil or not. It's about what does God teach? What does God teach? Evil. I challenge you to show me one good thing the God of Islam teach is not evil. Who, wanna, who can teach me? There's a few things Muhammad he copied from the Old Testament, but those are not, they don't belong to you. This is a theft. Show me something Muhammad he come with. It is his own. Right? Um. Any Muslim? Okay, you are going to prove Islam. What are you waiting for, my friend? Why you don't text me until now? I'm waiting for you. Guys, we have a guy. His name is Muhammad Yusuf. He is going to prove Islam for us. That's wonderful. I cannot wait. Waiting for you, my friend.
You see, and I'm calling you my friend. I will speak to you nicely. Hmm. Don't use somebody names. Uh, so do we have any Muslim would like to call us or to prove us how Allah is the one God? Even the Quran is against what you are saying. The Quran says Allah, if you want to take a partner, he will take it from us. If Allah is one, there's no us. Especially he's talking about the partner. You will humiliate me? No problem, I'm waiting. Don't stay, no. Let me block you in the chat. I'm waiting for you. Stop texting here. Obviously, you are a kid. Either you call me or take a hike. Look like you are just attention seeker. But you will never call me. So stop texting in the chat. Otherwise, I will block you in the chat because I'm waiting for you to call me. Text me in Pal Talk. My Pal Talk is open. Otherwise, you will be blocked for deceiving us that you will call me. <clears throat> ah, Muhammad Ismail saying he will humiliate you if you call Muhammad Qasim. Look, Muhammad is talking to Muhammad, giving advice. So now we have two Muhammad advising each other. Look at this, look at this. The corporation. Muhammad Ismail saying to Muhammad Qasim or Muhammad uh, whatever his name uh, he will humiliate you if you call Muhammad Yusuf he has no interest in truth like, what? so you are asking him not to call right and how you will be humiliated if you can prove me wrong so you know that you are no match. This is why you are trying to tell this guy, don't call. You don't know what's going to happen to you. We cannot defend Islam, brother. This is the truth. Nobody can defend Islam. Hmm? That's the truth. Hey, Muhammad Yusuf, don't call. He will humiliate you. So, if you are a Muslim who have knowledge of Islam and you call a Christian prince, you will be humiliated. Why? Because you will find that you have no knowledge. You're an idiot. Very simple. <clears throat> okay, Muhammad Yusuf, he texts me. Let us hope that is going to work. Let me call him. All right. We are calling Muhammad Yusuf. Uh, hold on. Yes, Mr. Muhammad, how are you? Wa alaikum assalam. You said to me, Assalamu alaikum. Yeah, but is it wrong to say Assalamu Alaikum to someone who is a Christian? Uh, this is the same kid. Do you remember him? This is stupid kid. Get out of here. He's not even a Muslim. Who is a real Muslim when I call us? No, this is not a Muslim. This is just a kid. He liked to call and me, you know, annoying person. Just a stupid kid. Any Muslim? <clears throat> it's okay, you cannot hear. This is not even a Muslim. This is a, the guy, the guy he called us many times. He's just a kid. Take it easy, take it easy. You could not hear. You did not miss anything. And any Muslim would like to call us.
Anyone? No, maybe they are saying they could not hear the guy. I don't know why. You should be able to hear him normally. So, any Muslim who is a Muslim is willing to call us. The only one who calls us is not even a Muslim. He's just a mental ill person. He needs attention. Anyone? Well, my pal talk is open. Text me and I will call you. So, you know, when they speak about Islam as a religion, anything we study about this cult, we will find that there is nothing, nothing right about it. Like when Muhammad here, he said, that your prayer will be submitted to me. Isn't it this is blasphemy against God? Who are you? You are just a man. And how a prayer of all those Muslims will be sent to Muhammad? In order for Muhammad to review all those prayers, first you have to be alive, not dead. Because your body decay or not, does that mean you are alive? How you how the prayer will be submitted to you? And I thought the prayer would be submitted to God. We found that the Muslims, they believe that their prayer is not going to Allah. It's going to Muhammad. He is their God. Debate fulfillment, fulfillmental, fulfillmental theist. Okay, okay. Just debate. You didn't text me. Don't flood the text, my friend. Stupid. Don't flood the text. I'll block you. Here we go. I blocked you. Don't tell me debate this guy and debate this guy. My pal talk is open. Text me. And I will call you. Stop being stupid. I don't go after people to, to debate them. You have somebody to debate me? Let him text me or you know text me and I will call you right away. Live on air. So don't come like a kid and jump over my lap. Says debate this guy. Debate this guy. Please debate this guy. Don't do that. Don't be stupid. Anyone want to debate me? My pal talk is open. I do not need to know your name. You are a big shake. You are a small shake. Who care? All of you are shaky for me. <clears throat> Anyone? So how the prayer of the Muslim will be submitted to Muhammad? unless he is claiming to be God. And actually he changed his name to the praised one. So he will be the praised one. He will be God. So now Muslims are praying for him. And the prayer is submitted to Muhammad, not to Allah. But Muhammad supposed he is dead. No, he's not, brother. That's what Muhammad is claiming. And by, do, by saying such a statement, he claimed that he is God because the prayer should be submitted only to God. Not to a man. Don't the Muslims, they say, we pray only to Allah? Don't they say that? Read with me. Their prayer is on Muhammad and it is submitted to Muhammad. Where is Allah? <clears throat> I interrupt. Oh, you can interrupt me. It's an open uh, conversation. Guys, I interrupt. You interrupt me too. Who's holding you? That's a false excuse. You see the debate they do like five minutes for this guy, five minutes for this guy. It's a stupid debate because simply the guy he go say tons of lies and none of them actually is debating because nobody is listening to the other person. They are reading papers they collected reference two weeks before the debate. Here we have a real debate. Interrupt me. Whatever goes for me, goes for you. Whatever goes for you, goes for me. It's a debate. <laughs> a real debate should not be, you talk five minutes, I talk five. That's not a debate. That is a theater.
Do we have any Muslim? Have the courage and the knowledge. Interrupt me. Prove you wrong. Stop crying and complaining. I look at you. You you can't even answer the question we are asking in the in the chat. Okay, forget about calling me. You don't dare to call me. What about you? Tell me how your prayer will be submitted to Muhammad. Very simple question. Shouldn't your prayer go to Allah? Who is the God? Who is the God of Islam? When you pray, your prayer goes to who? How Muhammad is just a servant of Allah and he is a slave of Allah and then your prayer doesn't go to Allah, it goes to Muhammad. Anyone? <clears throat> Maybe we need to change the, <clears throat> the chat uh, speed. Uh, Maybe it's too fast. Okay. Let us make it in slow mood. We will make it every 30 seconds. So to, to make it easier for the admin to watch the chat. <clears throat> Any Muslim? I have got an echo. Oh, okay. Well, sometimes I debate from the you know bathroom. You know, once I was debating two sheikhs. Uh, one, his name is Doctor Nabil Baikli, and the other one, his name is Imam Malik Sar. If you watch, the, if you listen to the debate, you might hear water running. I wasn't the bathroom really. I was washing dishes. You know, at that time I have like a Bluetooth microphone, and uh, and they are just two kids. I mean, they are sheikhs, yes, head of Islamic Center, yes. But all of them, they have no idea what to say. And after we finished the debate, the radio host, he said to them, can we schedule a debate for this coming week? They said, no. <laughs> so do we have any Muslim Sheikh? Anyone? Yeah, actually, I wanted to buy those... Uh, a Bluetooth uh, because it allowed me to go around when I'm staying for long, but they are very expensive. You know, I don't know why why they get so expensive. They were expensive at that time, but now they are way more expensive. <clears throat> so I was washing dishes, you know, dealing with those two Abdul, and and like if you watch it, you know, like the guy I said to him, Allah, so how Allah have a leg? He says, okay, Allah have a leg, but is his leg of Allah is like yours? Who care? <laughs> Supposed to now he's getting me busted. Is the leg of Allah is like yours? Hmm. <clears throat> I hope you are still alive when my friend come over. Eh. When your friend come over, let me know. <clears throat> Anyone? Actually, there's a benefit for you if you are a Muslim, if you call me. Because you go, you can download the video, you can post it in uh, your channel, and people will say, I, my debate with the Christian Prince, what do you want more? Muslim will subscribe to you like crazy. Even though they will be dying laughing at you, who care? Still, Muslim will support. <laughs> Anyone? Debate Imam Murrah? No problem. We can debate Imam Murrah, his sister, his mother, and even his breastfeeding for adult. <laughs> and you don't forget to submit your prayer to the Prophet. <laughs> you know, this religion, I mean, those Christians, they say lies about it. All right? So the Prophet, his body will not decay. And the Christians, they put in the Muslim books that the Prophet's stomach was full of fart and he stink. Yes, brother, those Christians, they put those things in the, in the, in the Muslim books. Uh, Christians, they put it there. And the Jews, the Jews, they put it there. Oh, okay. I see. Mm. Any Mohammedan? Any 
anyone? <clears throat> Hello? Why the prayer of Muslims will be submitted to Allah, Prophet, not to Allah? Muhammad Qasim, you are you are online? You are in Skype now? See how nice I am to you? I did not open Skype for a century. I will open it just for you. Hold on, let me let me go out of Pal Talk then. And open Skype just for Muhammad Qasim. All this time took Muhammad Qasim to download Skype. Okay. I think I did not open Skype for more than five or six months. <clears throat> Okay. Mm. I can't even remember my Skype account. <laughs> what is what what it was? <laughs> what is my ID in Skype account? <laughs> Hold on. Uh <laughs> Well, even if it's uh, ultimate fault, it's, it's okay. We will have fun. It's good to have him. So we can love. The prayer is not the same as a blessing. Uh -huh. No, it says your prayer, your prayer, you know, salatakum. Same time. Your blessing will be sent to me. You are dead. Let us see. All right, we are in Skype now. All right, my friend, text me. I am in Skype. And I have tons of text in this Skype, endless.
incoming call. Hello? Ultimate? Hi, Ultimate Fart. How are, how are you, Ultimate Fart? Uh, hold on. Uh, people don't hear you, Ultimate. Just wait. Don't talk. Let us fix it. Uh, let's see. Just wait, just wait. Okay, talk now. Yeah, I'm All right. right here. All right, guys, we have with us Mr. Ultimate Fort. How are you, Ultimate? Daddy. You gotta say daddy. Oh, okay. You, you, are, you, you are daddy, daddy to who? I'm your daddy. Why are you be running your way? Oh, okay. Listen, listen, listen yeah. Abdul. I have no time for kids' talk. What do you want to say? What I want to say is simple. Hmm. If I say Ashadu an la ilaha illallah wa ahdu la sharika la Okay, what does that mean? Trinity, what, what does that mean? What, what does that mean? You see? See, you're chickening. No, we are That's talking, we are talking, you mentioned something. I want to know, what does that mean? You said that you witness to Allah and there's no God yeah. but Him and Muhammad is what? Hold on, hold on. I didn't say Muhammad, I didn't say anything. Listen. What you say? Say, say again, say again, say again, I, say again. Let me speak. I believe in Islam. I believe in Allah as God. Okay. I have no who, who is Allah? Children. Who is Allah? Who is Allah? Something else. You cannot we, listen. Let me speak. Who is Allah? We are having a conversation. Okay. You said I, I I believe in Allah as God. Who is Allah? Who is Allah? Who is Allah? Uh, no, 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 no. You run in. Let me give me two minutes speak and then you speak. Let, let me. No, 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 no. Listen, listen. I will give you ten minutes. You said you said believe in Allah. Shouldn't I know who is Allah? Are you, avoiding, are you avoiding the answer that you do not know who's Allah? Are you saying I do not know who's Allah? So why, why it is a problem? Why it's a problem for you to tell me who's Allah? Just tell me and we continue. Who's Allah? Allah is God. Okay. The one who, and only God. Okay. Who is Allah? I did not. I did not ask you what He do. Who, who is Allah? I did not ask you if He is God or not. I said who is Allah? Who is Allah? I said, who is Allah? I said, Allah is the one and only God. Allah okay. is. Who okay, is hold on. Allah? Okay, so Allah is God. This is not the question. Who is Allah? So, because you don't understand English. If you say, who is God? Okay. Who is Allah? I said, Allah is. So, I'm answering. Okay. Who is? I said, okay. who is. So, how? So okay, you are, you, are, you are an expert in Arabic, as I know. And you are genius. Listen. So as long as Allah, as long Allah is God, so how come His name changed in verse number two in the Quran? If Allah is God, who is La? Who is La? Yeah, you can speak. I'm not talking. Who is La? In verse number two. In verse number two, the name of your, the, the the God name, the God name changed became La. Who is La? Who is La? Yeah, Allah is Allah is only Allah. Oh, so, only it, okay, but, um, but this is not the question. It says, oh, Alhamdulillah, la, who is la? Alhamdulillah hmm. is like in li Allah, lillah. Okay, alhamdulillah. no, it doesn't say Alhamdulillah, Allah, because you cannot say that, you know. It says, don't, are you correcting the, are you changing the Quran? The Quran says, Alhamdulillah, li la, no. who is la? No, la. Okay. Lillah. Where it says Lillah, where it says that, where it says that, show me, here we go, read the verse. Li, if you say uh, <laughs> Al Ilah or like uh, uh, Abdul, you said Ilah. Alhamdulillah. Where it says Lillah, where show me Li Allah. Where it says li, okay, say. where it says Li Allah, it show me. <laughs> it's got in every language. No, it's no, here, here, here. The verse in the front of us, I, I, I think that, you see, you know, the, the reason I accept you to call me because you need comedy. Now, you are, you are the one who mentioned that you know, right? Okay. I'm asking you, can you please, can you please show me the word? Here we go. The word in the front of us, it says, Alhamdulillah. Where is Allah? Don't Nothing tell me, bro. Come out you are a potato. Hey, are you sleeping? Are you sleeping naked in your bed as you do in your videos? Now answer me. Where is the little, Where is the law? You said Alhamdulillah, Allah. Where it says that? Show me. Listen. Either you show me, or, or you are going to just to talk to yourself. You want to debate the Quran alone? Okay. What's the problem? This is Quran alone. This is Quran alone. I don't mention to you. I need anything. You got one book. It's called the Bible. Listen. Don't change topic. Book. Don't change topic. 
You said, I asked you, who is Allah? You said, he is the God. Okay, now we have a new God in the second verse. It says, Alhamdulillah, who is La? Who is La? I, I said, who are you just to say that you don't debate the Quran alone, people? Because that's the only thing you got is the Hadith, right? Well, because the Quran, you can do nothing about the Quran. Okay. If I'm a Muslim, why you are changing the topic? No why are you are changing the topic? We did not mention any. We did not mention any hadith now. Don't change the topic. Abdul, you are a potato. Here we go. So, so you are in the corner. Now you want to change the topic? Where is Li Allah? Where is the, where it says in the verse, Alhamdulillah, Allah, Abdul, stop changing the topic. I start speaking. You you cut me off. I was gonna ask you. I don't want to cut you off. Okay, you said Alhamdulillah, Allah. Where is Allah? Alham, al alhamdulillah. Lila. Lila. Okay. Let us, let, let us type it in the screen, me and you together. Hold on, hold on. Let us, let us type it in. Hold on, hold on. Let us type it in the screen so everybody can see what you just said. Alhamdulillah. Here we go. Li. All right. Allah. La. La. Alhamdulillah. Like al ilah. Go to. Go don't, chapter, uh, don't, don't add 14. things is not in the verse. Is it in the verse or not? Give me what the verse saying. Give me what Listen the verse me. saying. What the ver what the verse saying? What the verse saying? Does it say Alhamdulillah Allah or Alhamdulillah? Now can you shut up and let me explain that? You don't need to explain. Just tell me first. Does it say Lila or no? Now, now, li al. Can what I explain? Is, okay, can you show me the elf? What is the elf? Can I explain? Where show me? Here we go. Where it says Al. Here we go. Here. Let me explain. Here, everybody, don't explain. You idiot. You don't care what to explain. It's in the front of us. Here, the L is in the front of us. Al Al Allah. You see, there's Alif. Here, there's no Alif. Alhamdulillah. So, are you it's going to? Where is Where is the Alif? It's called the Yatus. Every time two voil meet, it's like you say, an elephant. You don't say uh, elephant. Ah, you say the okay. Elephant. So you are saying to me He's that this is because 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 the letter is not the original of Allah name, so we can take it off, correct? You don't say N boy. Okay, no, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on. So you are saying this is the letter can be taken off because it's not part of the name. So now listen to me. You just admitted that this is not part of the name, so we can take it off. <laughs> I'll, I, I, you 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 cannot say uh, uh, elephant. Yeah, no. you cannot say you cannot say because it's not part of the name, you idiot. So Listen. you are saying to me now that the, the, the L is it's, not part of the name. Yeah, you just admitted that the language, L. So the, the the L is not part of the name. So we can take it off, correct? It is part of the name. So how you can take it off? Elef so how you can take it off? Let me, let, Okay. okay. What ask? is the first? What is the first letter to Muhammad? What is the first letter? Of, what is the first letter on the name of Muhammad? What is the first letter on the name of Muhammad? Is it M? Can you take the M off? Can you take the first letter of the name of Muhammad off? Muhammad is not God. Doesn't matter. It's a name. So you can take a letter from the name of God, but you cannot take it from the name of a man. If you say the listen, listen, the listen, God, listen, 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 one and only. ultimate, ultimate. Do you speak? Do you speak Arabic? Do you, do you, do you speak Arabic? Do you speak Arabic? You see, I said, I'll, uh, you no, see, you, no, you're changing a uh, subject. Listen, do you speak Arabic? Do you speak Arabic? <laughs> okay, so how, how a person who don't speak Arabic is teaching us the grammar of the Arabic? Stay on a topic. Stay running away. <laughs> <laughs> so now you became an expert in Arabic, but you do not know how to read Arabic. So Abdul, you call me for what reason, Abdul? But Jump, so you worship Allah, you worship hey. Allah, and you are the one who said that you follow Quran only, correct? Can we talk about... You are about the one who said you follow Abdul. Quran only, correct? Don't on the subject. I'm not changing subject. You cannot read it. Here we go. Does it say Lila? And we agree that we took the first letter Enough. off. <laughs> <laughs> I was listen. He's chickening. I swear to God, shame on you. Every 1,400 people watching you running away like a little baby. I'm running like away. Okay. You are the one who said we take it off. Now, can you take two minutes, two minutes, two minutes, two minutes? You said you can took it that? off. Is it you who said the first letter we took it off or me? Did you say we took it off? 
No, no, two minutes, two minutes. Did you two say? Minutes. Did, 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 chicken, listen. Did you say we took it off? Yes or no? Did you say minutes, we took off? Did you say we took off the letter, the first letter? Did you say that? I said two minutes, two minutes. We but, agree on two minutes, two minutes. Uh, 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 two, uh, ten hours, ten hours, ten hours, ten hours. Now, did you minutes, say? Minutes, did you say minutes, took we took off the first letter? Yes or no? I will answer if you accept the principle of two minutes. Just two get minutes. lost, coward. Son of Muta. See, our God is Allah. Who is Allah? He is God. Okay, how his name changed in the second verse? Alhamdulillah. So Allah is not the God. You lied. And now we ask him, how this is the, the, the elephant disappear? He says, do you say an elephant or an elephant? But elephant is still elephant. You don't take the letter off. You take a letter off if it's not part of the name. Uh, very simple. What is the first letter of Muhammad? We said M. He said, do you take it off? He says, no, Muhammad is a person, not God. So you can take it from the name of God, but you cannot take it from the name of a man? Obviously, you can take it because it's not part of the word. So Abdul, I will call you again. And everybody is waiting for you to give us the answer. How you can take a letter from the name of Allah? Unless his name is not Allah. Let me call you again. I'm calling you, by the way, just because we need entertainment, not nothing much. Two minute, two minute, two minute. You do not need two minutes. You are a hero. You can, you can, you can destroy me in a second, man. What are you talking about? Okay, so now, so now we agree, me and you, that there's there's letters in the name of Allah. We can take them off. Somebody asked to me back because you ashamed because Correct. you ran away. So do we agree, me and you, that there's a letter in the name of Allah? We can take them off. Did we agree, me and you, that there's letters in the name of Allah? We can take them off. Yes or no? I said two minutes, two minutes. Abdul, I will give you two minutes. Just no problem. Agree on two minutes, two minutes. But you, but do you, you agree? But, but you answer the question. You promise? I said do. I answer every question and then I ask a question. Okay, so do you promise me if I if you go out of the question of the topic? You agree on two. You're the one that went out of the question. Every no, the question time, is I the question is. I will give you the question. Two minutes for you. I promise. Here we go. What, did you say that you take you, you agreed that you take the first letter of Allah name? How you can do that? Go ahead. I didn't ask you. I said in every language there's something that two minutes. If you cut me off, you are drunk. In every <laughs> language you go, when two voiles meet, mm. you gotta take one voile off. Mm. If you say in French, like you say le enfant, mm. L E E the enfant e, e, is a boy, a baby, or a boy, E N E E N F A N T. Mm. But you cannot say le enfant. Mm. You gotta take the E off of the le. Mm. You put a apostrophe in there and say lamfa. Mm. You you cannot say a elephant. No, a and e cannot meet. You say mm. an elephant. Mm. M. Mm. We put an n out there. Okay. In Arabic, it's the same. Mm. If we say al ilah, mm. al ilah becomes Allah, the God. Mm. Al la means al ilah. Hmm. Bismillah. Quran uh, bin bin nasi malikin nasi ilahin nasi. Third verse of chapter 114. Put it hmm. out. Okay. So if, if you say alhamdu, alhamdu li Allah li is already a, a voile. Allah li Allah cannot be. You can li Allah. You can say li Allah. You say alhamdu li Allah li Allah. So you take the e off. So you put li Allah. Alhamdu li Allah. In every language, we got that. You are being a dummy talking like that. Everybody speaks Spanish. Everybody speaks German. Everybody speaks English. Okay, it's already, it's already three minutes. Can I talk? And alibi, can, can, can I talk? It's my time. It's my time. 
What? Okay, go ahead. Okay, you just agreed with me. So you are you are you donkey. You are shouting at me for the last hour, saying it doesn't say that it says li Allah, and now you just said li la. So all this is stupid talk to tell me. Okay, the name there is la. <laughs> you see how stupid you are? So you were shouting at me, saying it doesn't say that CP. It is Li Allah. I said to you, no, it says Li La. And now you agree, it says Li La. So who is the donkey here? And now in the top of that, you just say, you just, just said, you see, you said two minutes for you, two minutes for me, right? You stupid either. Come on. So listen, let me talk. I give you two minutes. Let me talk. Yeah. Go ahead. So, so now the name of Allah is Lila. You just agreed that you cannot put no. in the front of elephant. You cannot put in the front of a boy. Just shut up. I, and you are the one who says Lila. Who is La? No, it is your turn. Who is La? Who is La? Lila means if you cannot put two vowels, <laughs> meaning you can take one off to to make it Lila. <laughs> So no, it doesn't say that. It doesn't say you are a liar, you are a stupid, you are a dummy. And then after he explained it, he says, yeah, it says that, Leela. Did you hear it? The example you idiot you gave us about the boy and the elephant, you can take it off because those are not part of the name. But the word boy is still there. Boy, start with boy. You don't say that, you don't take off the B. You don't take the elephant, A-L, elephant. You don't take it off. So an elephant or elephant, it says elephant. So you stupid, you cannot take it off unless it's not part of the name. We have Muhammad Qasim waiting, go ahead. <coughs> Hello. Hello. Hey, my friend, how are you? Good, good, Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Um... So do you want to have a debate on, on the breastfeeding verse? Oh, you want to talk about breastfeeding? Go ahead. Yeah, so if you can give me a time to speak. Sure, no problem. I'm listening, my friend. Go ahead. Okay, firstly, you know the uh, the hadith that you put, um, started off the discussion with, which was about uh, goat eating the verse? That's actually weak. And, uh, oh, it's weak. The of it. hmm. Yeah, yeah, it's weak. If you look, Muhammad ibn Ishaq is narrating with the word an, which hmm. makes it weak. Uh, you can find the scholars grading it in Shu'aib, um, Sheikh Shu'aib Arnut. Okay. Uh, he's classed as weak in the classification of Muslim Ahmed. Mm -hmm. So this narration about goat eating, that's the, that part is weak. Um, but even though, even let's say if it was uh, reliable, right? Mm -hmm. I think Darul Salam they they put it as Hassan. Mm -hmm. uh, even if it is reliable, it doesn't take away from the ijma of the Sahaba, the consensus of the Sahaba that mm -hmm. the Quran is preserved. So that's one thing. Um, okay, what, talk about the what, what is the verse? Okay, my friend, what is the verse of a breastfeed for adult in the Quran then? Like I say, it's weak. You know, it's a weak hadith. So if there is if there is verses given to Muhammad about a breastfeeding for adult or not? Not for adult. No. Okay. So no, there's no there's nothing concrete to to suggest that there was a verse okay. about. So uh, to, to to understand what you are saying, you know, we are listening. Uh, you are saying it is weak, even though the website says it's good. Yeah, the scholars have differed upon it, so it's not reliable. Uh, so wh who is the scholar who can decide what is good, what is bad in Islam? Like, it's up to you? No, I've, I've told you this is muhaddith. These, these are muhaddith. And they have said that this is differed upon. So, so when something's differed upon, you can't say this is definitely the case. So then you have to back off from that narration. Mm. And you can't but you uh, see, rely on But there is tons of hadith in the front of us. All of them, they are very sahih. And they are speaking about a breastfeed for adult. And even Aisha, the wife of the Prophet, she used to order her sisters and her nieces to do breastfeeding for adult before they can see her. Correct? Uh, which which hadith is that? Okay, if we go right now and we check out, let us see. <clears throat> uh, if you can give the reference, because I can't see your screen. No problem, I will show it to you. Uh, uh, let me give it to you. And as long as you speak Arabic, that's wonderful. And I find it very funny that Muslims, you just say that the scholars differ in what is weak and what is 
uh, strong, which means Islam is very flexible. It, when you see something you don't like, you can call it weak anytime you want, right? So, uh, no, if you, you want to respond to that, no, no, you just you just did. You, you know, you, you just you just said that. Uh, let us see. Oh, let, let us let see. Me, that. Let me, no, no, hold on, hold on. Respond. Okay, you can, you can go ahead. Respond. Go ahead. Okay, so we have mutton criticism. We have uh, it's not criticism. So when it comes to the narrations, we investigate the narrators, and if if the narrators uh, narrating something in an ambiguous way, then we can't uh, that report might become weak. Also, the 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 text itself, we have to uh, align it with the Quran. If it goes against the Quran or any principle from the Quran, then it gets rejected. So the scholars of Hadith they investigate, they write this in their commentaries. Hmm. But how come how come the scholar of the Hadith in the in the in you know they say the Hassan there? They are scholars or they are potatoes? Yeah, the scholars they are scholars. It's just that gen the general meaning within the Hadith is true. Like for example. Uh, the case of Salim, that's the Sahih Hadith, you know, the Salim. Okay, tell me about the, tell me about Salim, what happened? Did your Prophet, you order the women to give her breast to adult? Okay, let's, okay, I'll explain that to you. Okay, uh, go ahead. So, so the, I've done a video on this on my channel anyway, okay, uh, no but problem. I'll explain it to you. Okay, go ahead. Um, so, the, the case of Salim, mm. uh, it, it wasn't sexual. You know, a lot of times you're trying to make it sexual, right? Mm. So, it's, it was actually anti-sexual because... Uh, the husband felt like you know, just just hold on. Mind. You said it is anti-sexual, correct? Yeah, yeah that's so right. it is sexual. It's anti-sexual, meaning that yes, uh, it's it not is, sexual. No, so it is no. Sexual. No, when you say it's anti-sexual, it's mean to solve a sexual problem, correct? No, no. I'm saying it's against. It's not. Okay. It's not a sexual thing. It's okay. Not that the, was like the a, women she a, have a slave in her house, and now he is adult, and the husband is jealous, correct? And now your prophet, he order her, and she is growing women, old women, and he is a growing man. He have a beard, and now he is ordering your Muslim sister to give her breast to this man. What that will do? What's that? Why your prophet ordering this woman Sahla bin to Suhail, and you said this hadith is accurate, correct? So. So it wasn't direct. Firstly, let me let me quickly run through the hadith. Hmm. The hadith is uh, because he has this grown man was coming in the house, hmm. Hmm. and the uh, husband they wanna uh, like he had like a disgust feeling because he he's not uh, he's not like the son, he's not a blood relative son. Hmm. So due to this reason, uh, the wife the wife herself went to the prophet about this, and then the prophet said about suckling. So this suckling wasn't direct. This suckling was not direct because it's haram to. Um, to have physical contact with a woman. So this suckling was, if you look in Tabakat of Ibn Sa'd, it's mentioned that she used to pour this in a utensil. It might, it might sound, sound strange. Do you, it, do you speak, still, you speak Arabic, right? Improve. You speak Arabic. A uh, little bit. I've just learned well, the word rida, min rada, 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 rada shay, ay masahu. So you have to suck it in the nipples. It can't. Rida is not a drinking. Rida is not a drinking. So the Prophet says that Rida Ardi'i, he did not say give him milk. And the woman, she don't have milk. She's an old woman. She had milk? Why is she? Yeah, like, of course she did. Where, how she have give? Show me where it says that. And where you get this from that this yeah. is not, not suckling? It says suckling. So the Hadith says suckling. And then you say to me it was not suckling. Does the Hadith say suckle him? Yeah, it says suckle. But I'm saying it's okay. a Since when suckle him is a drinking? Is suckling is a drinking? Are you, are you listening? I'm listening. You, you, because you are, yeah, okay, you give me a book of a tabakat, no problem. Do you accept a tabakat uh, you as a reference to? If I show you from a tabakat something, are you going to go crazy and say I don't accept it? Do you accept a tabakat book? The tabakat Ibn Sa'di has uh, various reports. No, no. Do you accept it? Whatever I show you from there, you say I agree. Like, are you listening? Some of them are reliable. <laughs> See, ah, some are good, some are bad. So it's up to you to decide what's good. So you don't, do you accept him as a scholar or not? Again, the muhaddith they decide. See, no, you see, you are, now you are not being, you know, you are not being truthful. Either is accepted okay. as a scholar for you or not. So now, listen, let us go back to zero. Did your prophet says don't suckle him? Did your prophet says that? Don't suckle him. Yeah, did he say give him your your, your milk, or he said suckle? He says suckle, like I mentioned to you. Already. Okay, so so Islam, don't have, so have, so, so you are adding things your prophet did not say. Shame on you. Secondly, did your prophet wife order her sisters to suckle men before they enter upon her? Sisters. Yes, sisters and nieces. 
No, no, it's haram. It's only the, the case of Salim, the wife, of, the wife of the Prophet. They said is very specific to. Are you saying? Sal, uh, are you saying that Aisha was a? Be... Are you saying your uh, your Aisha is a bad woman when she did that? No. She never did that. She never did that. Okay, guys, isn't it him who said that this hadith is accurate? Here we go. This is the hadith. I will post it for you in the chat. You can click on it and you can open it. Everybody can read it. And this is the same hadith about Sahla bin Suhail. And it says there that Aisha, the mother of the believers, she used to order her sisters and her nieces to suckle adult men before they enter upon her. Uh, let me see. Let me have a look at the narration. Hmm. Give me a second. Uh, what's the hadith? I'll just find it on the thing. It can't go back on the screen for some reason. Mm. Uh, what, what's the hadith? What's the reference? I just uh, gave you the link. Let me give it to you in Skype. No problem. Hold on. <clears throat> I'm aware that Aisha, uh, she had the... Uh, Different opinions. She believed that the. Um, uh, Aisha, she uh, have wrong, Aisha, she have wrong opinion, guys. Aisha, she have wrong opinion. Oh, okay. Aisha, she was a bad Muslim. Yep. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So no, it doesn't make him bad. You just say it a second ago. Everything. You a second ago you said Aisha, this is haram. You said this is haram. It's only for this woman. And Aisha, she will never yeah, do haram. such a thing. Yeah, it's haram. So Aisha, now she is committing something haram. Aisha, Aisha, Aisha. No, no, Aisha herself, she didn't uh, say that this is a physical contact. It's haram to have physical contact. That's what I said. Guys, do you hear? Just, do you uh, hear do you, the uh, hold on, Qasem. Some people, they say you cannot hear. Guys, do you hear the sound? People on YouTube, do you hear the sound? Is the sound good coming? Do you hear his voice? Do you hear his voice? You know, it takes a little bit for them to answer. We want to be sure that everybody can hear you. Guys, when he talks, do you hear his voice? Taking some time for them to answer. Okay, you hear his voice, right? Okay, so somebody's saying he don't hear. I don't know why. Anyway, so go ahead. So Aisha, she practiced that. Why Aisha, she practiced something not right? I've just clicked on this hadith. There's no grading on it. It's, it says muwatta imam. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter, my friend. This is your problem. If there's no, if there's this, no grading, this is, I, this is your this I... is your problem. This is your problem. Here we go. Anything you don't like, you want to have a grade. So when we show you the grading of the previous hadith, you said even though it says Hassan, you said it's not accepted for you, right? So I'll now, give you. I'll give you. No. Uh, references. No, no. You did not give me any reference, my friend, because this person he have no right to say something not true. Because the hadith says, this is, nobody oppose it. And if somebody came a thousand years after to say, I am against it, well, here we go, you are against it too. And later, somebody will say, you are a scholar, and you are against it. But did Aisha herself practice it? Again, this this narration had this first. It doesn't have any grading on it. Number one, my friend. So why, why are you Muslims? So are you saying okay? Are, are you are you saying to me that you Muslims you promote lies? If it's not true, it's not going to be there. Don't you agree we with have, me? Have, why why are you Muslims? Why are you Muslims? Okay, you let, me, promote? let me explain. Uh -huh. Let me let me explain. Uh -huh. uh, we have narrations. We have uh -huh. narrations. They are historical reports. So when it comes to hadith, they are like pieces of a puzzle. Some of them, uh, it's like historical reports can be true, can be wrong. That's mm -hmm. why we have modu. Uh, we have different categories, right? We have weak and uh, strong hadith. So we have to investigate each hadith. When it comes to the Quran, we accept all of it. When it comes to hadith, we have to investigate. Mm -hmm. So that's the that's mm -hmm. one of the major areas. Okay, you make. but those who investigated the one which it says it is good. How come their investigation is wrong? The investigation is wrong because I told you uh, the word an is used. Every hadith the word an used. Yeah, the scholars have mentioned. He uh, says my, friend, this narration is my friend, every hadith it says an, 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 even the Quran is an. So this is the most funny yes. argument because an, it's mean narrated from, 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 from. So in order to arrive to us, it have to be come from, 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 from. So you are saying to me because yeah, it says a from, you don't accept it. But that's mean you don't accept the Quran too. No, hold on, hold on. Let me, let me respond to that. This, this mm. narrator is actually known as the, for doing tadlis. So that's the reason. Mm. The practice of 
missing mm. a link. So he was known for this Mohamed bin Ishaq. You can check this out, and mm. that's the reason he was graded as weak. Uh, uh, Mufti Taqi Usmani, I believe, okay. also mentioned the, this. Okay, is is Muwatta Malik is a good book for you? Any any hadith book they have uh, weak hadith, some strong and some uh, f fabricated. So uh, besides. Uh, Bukhari and Muslim, Bukhari and Muslim, they have certain areas, few hadith are uh, categorized as weak, but uh, generally... Okay, you, you know what, so, uh, so okay, so now we agree that you're a prophet, you order women to give a breastfeeding for adult. You agree with that, right? No, not generally, not all Muslims. Okay, where it says not all Muslims, where it says that, did, you. did your prophet say this is only for you? Okay, I can show you the wives of the Prophet. They're saying, uh, Um Salama, the wife of the uh, Messenger of Allah, used to say, All the wives of the Messenger of Allah rejected the idea that one can come to me. Give, give me the hadith. Give me the hadith. Give me the hadith. Sahih, Sahih Muslim number 1454. No, no, I want you to give me the link because later I don't want you to say I did not give you this link. I know the hadith you are talking about. And I'm thank you for, for giving it to me because now you get yourself busted. Give me the link. <laughs> You got boosted, bro. Yeah, you will see. What, uh, you will see. Huh? It's a hadith you choose, not me. Correct? It's a hadith you chosen, not me. And it's, yeah, a, yeah, it's yeah. a number you gave me, not me. And it's a link you will give to me, not me. So, how you can run from this now? So, this is a hadith you agree with, correct? Okay, give me the link. Uh, let me just find on sunnah.com. Hmm. In a second, you will, you will wish you never mentioned it to me. Don't worry. Let us see. <clears throat> I will post it for everybody too, so they can see it. Okay, so let me send it. Uh, have you got Sunnah.com open? Yeah, just give me the link, my friend. Open it in the front just, of I'm you. Using, I'm using, yeah, just I'm using two devices. So I have oh, to okay. send it to the, okay. the device. You said Sahih Muslim? Um, yeah, Hadith. Sahih Muslim 1454. 1454, four, right? Four. Okay. I will give you the yep. link as long as you have difficulty to find it. So I will give you the link and you confirm that this is the hadith you want, correct? You confirm to me that this is the hadith. Okay, I will give it to you. Here we go. As long as you have difficulty to send it to me, please confirm that this is the the hadith you are talking about. Yeah, this is the hadith. All right, that's wonderful. Does does it say any grade there? It's in Sahih Muslim. Okay, but does it show grade? Uh, did you did you not hear what I said before? I know, but does it show grade? I, I don't think you're listening. It doesn't, it doesn't show grade, but you accept it without a grade, correct? I said to you, Bukhari Muslim generally they are accepted. Okay, like well, all that, okay, that's, Muslim, okay, okay that's wonderful. Okay, that's wonderful then. Okay, can you read for me the hadith you gave us, please, if you don't mind? Huh? Can you read the hadith for us? Yeah, yeah. It says, okay. uh, "Um Salama, the wife of the Allah's Messenger, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, used huh? to say to all of the wives of Allah's Messenger, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, disclaimed the idea that one with this type of fostrage, having been suckled after the proper period, should come to them, and said to Aisha, by Allah, we do not find this, but a, a sort of a concession given by Allah's Messenger only for Salim. Mm -hmm. So the Hida only." And okay. no one was going to be allowed to enter our houses with this type of posture. Right. And we did she not was saying, okay, hold on. She was saying that to Aisha. Why is she saying that to Aisha? Because Aisha, she was doing it. No. Well, how does it make... The, she had a different the other hadith... Uh, the, okay, we just showed you the hadith. Aisha, she is ordering the women, her sisters and her nieces, to do breastfeeding. And now the women, they are disagreeing with her. And you are the one who said to me that they are disagreeing with Aisha and they are saying to Aisha, this is something we did not find except it was a, a, a license only for uh, uh, this woman, correct? So why they are saying that to Aisha? Because Aisha, she is doing it. Okay, let me, okay, give me two minutes, I'll explain. <laughs> okay. So this this hadith is clearly telling you it's only for Salim. Aisha and her, she had a different opinion where this was, this was extended to other people. Okay, what, is the, what was the opinion of Aisha? 
Let me let me finish. Let me finish. Yeah. So it's extending to other people. However, it's still not direct contact. That's what I'm trying to make the uh, point that it's haram. If if it was a direct contact, it'll go against the Quran. Why, so that, then it'll be rejected. Why it's against the Quran? Like, How it's against the Quran? Because the Quran mentions about lowering, lowering your gaze. It talks about uh, who are your mahrum and who are your, uh, not your mahrum. Well, the Quran mentioned. Your gaze, and the Quran mentioned too. You can do muta. The Quran doesn't mention muta, but that's a separate topic. No, the no, Quran no, no. I'm just showing you that the Quran have a lot of crazy stuff. So chapter four, twenty-four, chapter four, verse twenty-four, yeah, it says you can do muta. So what is the point of covering your 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 your, your chest and then you order them to go have sex around for three days, three nights? I've, got, I've I've actually went through your video about muta and I've actually deconstructed it. It's on my channel as well. Here we go. So you can have a your channel, but you can do it now. Why why it's on your channel? What about do it now? So, I've already, I've already say, the best No, no, my friend, you cannot. You know, oh, here we that's, go. Did your, okay, did your prophet allow the muta? Yes or no? Muta, muta is haram. It was allowed in a Pacific uh, uh, state. But that's a separate topic. I, okay, I it's use, a separate that's, topic, that's but it's connected. It's sexual. One minute, one minute. So, one, what kind of a prophet? One, okay, one, what kind of a prophet he allowed it? Now, let's go. Back, let us go back. We will go Hello. back to the muta. Hold on. Let, we'll go back to the muta later. Now, let us see. Did Aisha, according to the hadith, the one you don't accept? Order her sisters and her nieces to do breastfeeding for adults. Yes or no? I'm like I said, I haven't seen this grading. Even if she did, okay. But like I told you, it's not direct contact. Okay. How? Where it says it's not direct contact? Can you show us? I told you to Sa'ad. No, this is a this is a guy. This is a guy giving his opinion. He was not there. He doesn't exist from the time of Muhammad. This is a person who was born hundred and hundred of years after making a book. I'm asking you. Does it say anywhere in the books of Hadith that there's no direct contract contact? It was, listen, the Muhaddith Ibn Hajar, he actually concluded this. He said, my, this my, is friend, a, my friend, but he is not. Contract. Was he there, the person who concluded that? Uh, give me a second. Mm. No, he, he, he analyzed the reports and he wasn't, obviously. Okay. Ibn Hajar. So, so, you know, I can give my opinion now, who care, you know, even if I'm a scholar, but there's nowhere that the Prophet of Islam says, or the E mean to suckle him, and you agree with that, correct? Like I said to you, if, if this report is saying what you're saying, my friend, we reject it. The word, okay, no, the, word the word, the word in Arabic, does it say or the E suckle him? It says, Yeah, it does. Okay. Say that. Are you saying your prophet he don't know Arabic? He's using the wrong word. He said suckle him, but he don't mean suckle. The, the audience understood what he meant. What, what, and the narration where, 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 uh, let, let me no. let me quickly my friend let, let me quickly mention the Arda, actual Arda, Arda Arda means suckle and you agree so your prophet says suckle he didn't say to him give him your milk can i can i mention what's mentioned in tabakot hmm. okay he says sahala would pour her breast milk into a utensil each day for five continuous days and salim would drink from it he did not directly drink from the breast of Sahala as he not permitted to expose one's aura in front of a non-mahrum adult, let alone have him, have him soaked. And this is actually a consensus with all the scholars. Uh, like, it, it could to be mentioned. So now, we should, not, says, okay, so now we should not follow what Muhammad said because what Muhammad said is blind and it's deceiving. So we have to follow what someone who wrote a book a thousand years after explain what Muhammad said. And Aisha, the poor woman, yep. she was practicing what is wrong because she, her prophet, her husband did not explain to her. But the guy who came a thousand years after, he can explain better to Aisha. And he understand Islam better we have than... Principles. Yeah. Huh? We, we have a usul in it. When we, whenever we analyze hadith, we have principles. Okay. If it goes against certain principles, we reject the report or we analyze it in a different way. So when it comes this to, to this report, the apparent meaning I have, a, I, have a, I have a surprise for you. Read for me this hadith. And now let us see how you will say this is weak. You know, the game of weak and strong, is, you know. Is it on the same topic? Yeah. It's is about, it on the same topic? It's about a breastfeeding for adult. Exactly. Read it for us. I will put it in the screen and I will post it in the chat for people. Read, read the hate for us. Uh, so it says, Um Salama said to Aisha, then, uh -huh, a young boy who's at the threshold of puberty comes to you. I, however, do not like that he should come to me. Um, hmm. Whereupon Aisha then, uh, said, Don't you see in Allah's Messenger, so I my mother for you. He also said, The wife of Abu Hudayfa said, Messenger of Allah, uh, Salim comes to me, and now he's a grown up person, and there's something 
that rankles in the mind of Abu Hudayfa about him, whereupon Allah's Messenger says, so kill him. Mm-hmm. Um, so what's the issue? She, this is the same thing that's mentioned about Sanya. Mm-hmm. Okay. already explained. But, okay, so I, she was practicing. You said, no, I should not do. <laughs> You I said, said she had a different opinion. No, no, no. You said she did not do that. Aisha, you know, you remember when I told you why the, the, the Salama, she is saying to Aisha that, obviously because she is practicing that, she said no. You said that. You said no, she was not doing that. The hadith here confirmed that Aisha is telling the Muslim women, including the wives of Muhammad, that we should follow the steps of the Prophet. He ordered this woman to do such a thing if somebody want to enter upon her. Correct? So Aisha, she's going around telling the wives of Muhammad, you should practice this because we should follow the steps of Muhammad, the messenger of Allah. Correct? Does it say that? Yeah, so... Okay. Is that, yeah, a, yeah, please, is that a da'if hadith? No, it's a say hadith. Okay. So now Aisha, she is the wife of Muhammad and she was doing that and her husband did not say to her, don't do it. Um... Yeah, like I said, she did. She did have a different opinion. I never. No, 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 no. This is not the question. This is not the topic now. She is doing this that. Is she is doing that. She is speaking of that. And Muhammad is not correcting her. And then you get me a book of somebody written a book thousand years after, saying that it should not be this way because this is against Islam. So Aisha, first-hand witness of Islam, half of your religion is coming from Aisha. Even your prophet says, "Nusfadina kumin Aisha." Take your half of your religion from Aisha. So now Aisha has given you half of your religion, and you reject. Which hadith says that? Mm -hmm. Here we go. Let us uh, show you. Half of the religion. The yeah. Prophet said this. Okay. You never, uh, you never heard of it before. I don't know. I never come across it. Hmm. Sounds interesting. Very interesting. Just to show you here yeah. how Muslims, when they see something shameful in their religion, suddenly they dump Aisha, and Aisha, she is not a trustworthy person. When they want, she is trustworthy. Oh, she is trustworthy. Oh, she, no, she is no. trustworthy no, you she, said you have, a, you see, you are trying to be uh, polite and say she, she made have, errors. You know, you, you are trying, you are trying to be, poli you are trying to be polite, saying that this is her opinion. But this is not about opinion. This is religion, my friend. You cannot say this is opinion because she is saying, I'm following the step of the Prophet. Here we go. Here it says. Yeah, it's, it's her ishtihad. It's her ishtihad that this can be uh, done to. Like she thought this was general. Uh, but like I mentioned, it's not direct contact. It'll be haram to do direct contact. I've already mentioned this. Um, so it's irrelevant if she had the opinion or not. Oh, okay. So it's early relevant to, uh, to, to do that, to do that such contact. Why it was relevant for the women here? Her name is Sahla bint Suhail. I'm saying is there's no direct contact. Where, where do you get this from? Do you have a proof? The I word, told you the word, word, no, this is not a proof. This is a, this is a guy. He is a shame. Like Mimi Hijab, he says uh, to a Muslim sheikh, can I, can I suck your wife's tits? Because he feels ashamed of it. So now I'm asking you, yes, when Muhammad Hijab was was when Muhammad Hijab was saying that to the Muslim Sheikh, and the Muslim Sheikh insists that this is about sucking for the breast, and Mimi Hijab he said to him, "Can I suck your wife's tits?" Why the Sheikh he did not say this is not accepted in Islam? Why he is saying this is what it is? Why you Muslim do not have one religion? Do you, have, do you Muslim have one religion or not? Why why the Sheikh who is this Mimi Hijab is answering him? Why he is saying no, this is what the Prophet said. And I can show you right now a video by the one who teach Hadith, the Dean of Hadith in Israel University, saying this is Sakarin, okay. it's about Sakarin. Okay, let me explain uh, what Muhammad Jab was talking about was Albani's opinion. Um, so he was talking about how he explained Okay, hold on. Did you say Albani opinion? Yeah. Okay. Is Albani one of your big shakes? Uh, he's a Salafi scholar. Okay, no problem. But is he a big sheikh or he is a potato? I don't recognize him as a, a big sheikh. Okay, so but why this guy Alabani is saying you can suck the wife, anyone, and like your neighbor wife boobs? Why are you saying that? How he got Islam wrong? Why why this religion is so confusing? So each one of you, he tried to make his own understanding and own. It's a, when it's very simple, supposedly. Your prophet told the he, Muslim. He went. 
for example, Albani has been refuted by uh, many, many people anyways uh, on his greetings on Hadith. Okay, and Albani Hadith. himself, he refuted many too, you know, so... Uh, so, 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 let me, let me, so, let me, so, so you are saying to me, you are saying to me, you are saying to me, anything is not suitable, we don't accept. Anything is embarrassment, is that accept. Let us go back to the... No, the, anything that goes Okay, hold on, hold on. Let us go back to the Hadith which you mentioned about Muhammad. He ordered the woman to give her breast to a stranger. He is adult. Okay. Do you have a proof that she had milk? Pardon? Do you have a proof that this woman, Sahla bin Suhail, she had milk in her breast? The narration itself mentions this. Well, it says, show me. It mentions that uh, she suckled him and then the disgust of Abu Hudayfa. No, no, no. It says she suckled him. Does it say that he drank milk? Obviously, if it's going to be suckling, no. that's what's going to happen. No, men, when they have sex with women, they suckle the nipples of women. Excuse my language. What well, there is no milk. Like I, like I said, there's nothing sexual about this. It, okay, hold on. Becomes the but isn't it, this is it about sexual? This is a guy who is the husband is jealous because there's a man is in the house. So it's about sexual. So your prophet supposedly by doing that he will stop the sexuality, correct? Yeah, exactly. So it's anti. Okay, but so isn't it, but isn't gonna, it sexual? Isn't it sexual to give women a breast to a stranger? Like I said, she's not giving the breast. Of Where you got this already. from? You are, you know, you failed to show me. I gave you a reference. No, I you did me, not. No, you, you gave me. You gave me a book written, you know, long, long time ago. I have books too. So uh, can you give? So I, I, I can show you Alabani. So you are the one who mentioned Alabani. I agree with that. Okay. So Alabani is a scholar Al too. Alabani is a recent scholar. My He's friend, recent scholar. all of them they are recent compared to my, my friend. All of them they are recent scholars compared to Muhammad. As example, Ibn Kathir came 800 years after your prophet. So he is a recent scholar. He's not an old scholar. He's not from the time of Muhammad. So how come you take him? So if you don't accept recent scholars, then you don't accept all the recent scholars, including the one you mentioned. All of them, they are not from the time of Muhammad. That will make them recent scholars. Okay, so, so now, okay, let, let, let me so, to you. so you are saying to let, me, let there me is no proof of Hello? what you are saying. What we have is, Hadith is confirmed to be Hassan or good, that it is, yes, that the Prophet, he received verses of a breast feeding for adult. And you are saying to me, the Hadith about the goat ate it, is not true, but there's no proof of that. Muslims are ashamed of it, but they cannot, you know, defeat it. Because simply, it's an opinion. Okay, can, I, can, I, can I respond? Okay, go ahead. Go ahead. So, uh, Albani's uh, opinion is rejected because it's, it's regarded, regarded as like a singular or shard opinion. So, it's, it's something that goes against that consensus. So, that's the reason his opinion would be rejected. Um, I've mentioned already, like, uh, the Muhaddith Ibn um, Hajar al-Asqlani, he's also also concluded this based on the narration of Tabaqat ibn Sa'ad. Do, so do you accept it. Ibn Hajar? Yeah, I've accepted him, yeah. So if I show you now something he said, you will say I accept? So you went on a different topic? Are you not going to... No, no, no just, to show, just to show the hypocrisy. It looks like, it looks like is, you're running away. No, you're running away. Do you accept him as a scholar, whatever he say, you accept him, or only in that line? Well, show me show me what he said. No, no, no. Do you accept him, whatever he say? I want your promise. We have to analyze each report. <laughs> see, here you point. see the hypocrisy. So he is a scholar when they want. He is a dummy when they want. So even the scholar you mentioned to me, you don't want him no more. Same for all of them. So do you accept them or you don't accept them? You don't. Do you accept Ibn Kathir? 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 Let me finish. When mm. it comes to uh, Ibn Hajar, mm. when it comes to grading, he's an expert in grading. So if you want to show me a grading that Ibn Hajar is doing a grading on, I'll accept the grading on. No, no. Uh, if but I no, show you his something... Opinion can be rejected. Okay. His, his, opinion, his, can his be rejected. opinion can be rejected. But isn't it his grading is opinion too? No, his grading is based on uh, biographies and he, he, he <laughs> analyzes it. No, his grading is based on opinion because all of it is opinion. I say, I don't say with this because of this, because of this, because this is opinion. Someone else here, different opinion. Now, listen, 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 listen. So, so you're a prophet. He come with something which is unacceptable. A woman, she is grown woman, asking her to give her breast to adult man. You said it is not direct contact, which is very funny to say because no proof of it. Because the word in Arabic I is suckle. No, I you gave me no proof. The word in Arabic is suckle, and suckle you have to suck. If you don't accept the proof, that's your choice. No, no, no. I'm not it's not about me. It, even your scholar don't accept it because it says suckle him. Does not say drink her milk. 
The word is second and you agree, correct? I told you how it was done. How is the Sokli? No, no. Okay, can you show me a hadith about how they do it? I've told you already. No, no, no. Show me where hadith says that the woman she used to take milk from her breast, put it in a cup and give it to the man. I gave you references. No, you did not give me. No, you did not give me. No, 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 no. No, what you gave me, it doesn't say what you are saying. It says that obviously it is not about sakalin. It is about nadar kunta, correct? But there's no proof. Do you have any story of a woman or or this woman, Sahel bin Tusrael specifically, that she put milk in a cup and she gave it to the man? Yes, Where? in, in Ali Saba Volume Four. No, no. Yeah, okay, give me, give, give me the I, link. Give me the I, link. Give me the link. I will post it on screen. Everybody will laugh. I'm giving the reference. You can find it yourself. No, no, no. no. You give me the link because I want to put it on the screen. I'll give you the reference, okay. and then you find it if you want. To. Okay. Why you cannot give me the link? I have a scholarly site where I've taken this information from. What? I've taken this information from a scholarly site. No problem. Can you give me the link? You just, you just say it. It's a, you, it you, just, you just say it. Site. The link to that. You, you said. You just said site. Hmm? Yeah. Okay. Give me the site. Yeah. Yeah. I'll give you one minute. Okay. Uh, Okay, I've got the site. I'm just going to copy and paste. Mm -hmm. Pause the link for me, please, in uh, Skype. Okay, so I think I mentioned enough what I needed to mention on the topic. Uh, you can check it out. So I'm going to ensure I head out. All right. You know, that because the point we want to show it to everybody so they can see what we are talking about. All right. Okay, I'm going to put the link in the front of everyone. Give me a second. All right. Okay, what it says what you just said. That she did take milk and put it in a cup. The height you gave me in front of you, it says suckle him. This is your website, right? It says literally suckle him are you there hello oh huh, call ended oh hmm. uh, hello the, web the website you gave me it confirmed what i said it says here i have suckled him read it this is the website you gave yeah. me Okay, I have I'm suckled. Aware, aware. Does it say I have suckled him? Yeah, you scroll down. If you scroll down. Okay, no, that, but does it, my friend, okay, no problem. Does it say I have suckled him? Yeah, yeah, it does. Say okay, the, the, so why she is saying I have suckled him when it's not suckling? If the, the, that wording was used, however, what was meant by it was. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so the word was used. Okay, now where? Okay, we, if we scroll down, where it says that she, where is the story? Where is the reference that she put milk in a cup? Where it says that? Look, type, search the word tabakat, you'll find it. Oh, here, here we go, tabakat. Really, no, because you need to say uh, the word tabakat, they can type it different way. Everyone, tabakat, let's see. Tabakat. Can I take a screenshot? Uh, here we go. Here we go. Uh, it's narrated in Ibn Sa'ad elsewhere that uh, Sahla would pour her breast. Okay, but where he got this from? There you go. Uh, so, but this is this is what he's saying. He's a liar. Unless he prove it. Do you have reference that she did that? 
Look how at the end, how, um, No problem, my friend, Ibn Hajar, Ibn Potato, Ibn Tomato, no problem. Where they got this from? Where they got this from? It tells you that what book no, it no, is. No, give me the hadith. It have to be a hadith. Because they themselves, they have to get it from somewhere. So you say to me, someone, he said. That some, is a hadith. Where is the hadith? Give me the hadith. What are you talking about? Where is the hadith? It says narrated in the Sa'ad, the of uh, Ibn Sa'ad. But this is the book hadith. written now. This is not the hadith. This is not the hadith. This is his book. This is what he said. That's the narration. No, this is what he said. He 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 said. He said that. This is what he said. Ibn Sa'ad. It was narrated by Ibn Sa'ad in his book. Exactly. And the narration there. But this guy was yeah, not there, yeah. and he is not from them, and he was not exist in the time of Muhammad, and he came hundreds of years after. So now I write a book. He it says it was narrated by a Christian prince. I mean, come on, but J. Christian prince, he was not in the time of Muhammad. He came hundreds of years after. So when he come with such a knowledge, he got it from where? Um, I don't know. I have to go to. The See, here we go. So look what happened to you. We show you the original reference says suckle him. Even in the same page it says I suckled him, and you don't want to accept the word suckling to be suckling because it's very embarrassing. And now you want to accept a person who wrote a book a thousand years after saying ah oh, she said suckle him, but obviously this is going to be true. true. Ibn, <laughs> I, just, I just checked. Ibn Saad is from uh, two hundred thirty after Hijri. My he friend, died even if he, even he was in, even was in the first he, 200. you see, you Muslims, you Muslims, you you have a lot of hypocrisy. You say that the book of John written sixty years after Jesus, and you don't accept it because it's written sixty years after Jesus. But the book speak about Jesus six hundred years after by Muhammad. You accept, and now you are saying to me, you, now you are saying to me, now you are saying to me, no, 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 we don't talk about that. No, just to show you the hypocrisy. You said how many years after the this Bible guy? Of, you said how many years friend. after the guy you mentioned? How many years after? The Bible will come. No, no, no. How many? How many years after he came? Hundred. Uh, he was born in hundred sixty-eight after. Okay, he but isn't Al Bukhari is is after? Yeah, Bukhari. So how do you accept him? him? <laughs> what do you mean? Al Bukhari is a, a person came two hundred years after Muhammad. How you accept him to be? Why, why you why are you jump into a, a different topic of hadith? We are not different topic. The hadith says it's, second. It's you you failed to give me. You failed to give me a proof that he did not order her to suckle. The hadith I said. Uh, suckle him and she said I suckled him she did not say I pure some pour some milk in a, in a dish and I gave him a drink why you are lying? I gave you I gave you the reference and no, the guy no no this is not what happened this is not what happened this is a guy is saying that do he have reference for what happened he's mentioned the narration Ibn Hajar he's a uh, but this is, know, still a, this is this is a scholar who is giving his opinion. So now let, listen to this. Okay. Okay. Listen I to this. I've finished. I've no, okay. I listen. 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 Well, listen. Listen. Well, okay. Well, now the well, woman. Okay. Well, no. Well, no. Well, hold on. Hold on. The woman. I will go with you just for the sake of fun. The woman. She gave the guy a milk in a cup. The man. He drank the cup of milk. What happened? Uh, became mahar. If I show you a fatwa, it says that you can marry. A woman, even if you suckle her milk, as long as you are not doing that, when you are a child, what you would do? Uh, so, what, okay, let me explain this. Do you want me to explain it or no? No, no, I, I want you to answer me. Is it true that you, this is one? Yeah, not, I that am will going not to answer. I'm saying, are you going to give me time? Okay, go ahead. Okay, so so this case, what they're talking about is it was um, the case of Salim. They're saying it's specific for Salim. So he becomes a mahram. But when it comes to any anyone else, even if you drink the milk, ah, they don't become mahram. Look at this religion. Allah, He created this, a rule. This religion got plenty. This is a religion. This religion got plenty. Ah, of created a rule. Allah, He created a rule only for one woman. Only that man will be forbidden for her. The rest of men, no. That's mean this is hip this is hypocrisy. That's mean this milk That's can do nothing. Hold on. So you are saying to me now that having milk from a woman in the in, in the time when you are old, that will not change the fact that still you can sleep with her, correct? Uh when it comes that, that particular rule is no longer applicable. Well, how come? It's been abrogated. Where? I've already told you uh, the, uh, the wife of the prophet mentioned this. Where? No, no, you just said it's abrogated. Did you hear what I said? No, no, you just said it's abrogated. Where? 
Did you hear what I said? I, I have. You are the one who prophet. said. You are the one who said it's abrogated, so it have to be in the Quran. Show me the verses which abrogating the rule. Doesn't, abrogation doesn't necessarily need to be in the Quran. It can be also in a hadith. Okay, so guys, did you, did you hear that's this? Did you did you hear this? The Muslim they don't follow the Quran because the Quran is not the book of guidance. It is in the hadith. Show me the hadith. Did you? Oh my days! Uh, look in the reference I sent you the link. No, it no, says no, no, that no, 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 no! Give me the hadith. Show me the hadith. It's abrogating the hadith. You said that this is abrogated. It's you who said the word abrogated, not me. Show me. I've already told you. No. Where is the hadith? Where is the hadith? It's abrogating this hadith. In the hadith, it says it was only the wives have said it's only for Salim. My so friend, that you just said it's, it's abrogated. The wife, the wives of Muhammad. Okay, are you Muslim? You follow Muhammad or his wives? We, we follow the the companions. So if there's a consensus on you a matter, follow the companion. Follow what the wives are companions. That's wonderful. So Aisha, she is one of the companions, and she is the most important companion. So how come you don't want uh, Aisha no more? Have At the same you, time, think, my friend, you so said I to think, me it's abrogated, so it has to be abrogated by your prophet. Show me the hadith. It cannot be abrogated okay. by the companion, correct? It has to be abrogated by... Okay, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go now. I've explained what I need to do. Explain. Take care. Do you have the hadith where it's abrogated? Where, where is it going? Guys, did he say abrogate? And he hung up. It's abrogated. Okay, now, that's, now we have a bigger problem. Because now we have to find the verse which is abrogating this. So we have hadith saying that those are verses sent down by Allah, not a hadith. Verses. And he is the one who says it's abrogated. And actually even the hadith here in front of us it says it's abrogated. What is the verse of abrogation? Read, read the funny Islamic statement. It says, "Those these verses abrogated by re recitation, <laughs> and now it is five. Okay, what is the verse for five? And in order to say it's abrogated, that means it have to be a, 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 a not a hadith because you cannot abrogate a hadith. Abrogation happened only the Quran." So Aisha practice it. Aisha confirmed that those were verses. The rank of the hadith says Hassan, which means good. For them it's bad. Why? Because it's embarrassing. And look what he just said, priceless. He said, this is a rule only given for that woman. Show me. Where your prophet said this is only for you. Since when Muhammad he say only this is for you? Show me. Is it Islam is for all mankind? Suddenly now there's, there's a special book only for this woman? <laughs> no, no, no. It's only for that woman. Uh-huh. Yeah. And she did not suckle him. She gave uh, milk. Okay, where? <laughs> it says suckle him. And he hang up. Where do you go, my friend? Let me call you back. We just started. Said he's gone. Bye bye. And by the way, he's welcome to. I think this is the same guy who brought me this uh, shake from New York. Isn't this the same guy? You remember the shake from New York? Who made him falafel? I think this is the same guy who brought his shake, his shake, to contact me. But look what happened now. Obviously, Muhammad is a crazy man because he said. That if a man he drank a milk from a woman, that will not still forbid him from having sex with her. So what the point? 
What the point then? Do you see the stupidity? He is the one who mentioned this, and actually I have the I have the fatwa in front of me. Uh, ultimate fault, potato get like get lost. You know, stupid kids. We want people who men, not kids. Idiot. Stupidity is amazing. Do we have any Muslim would like to tell us something good about his religion? As long that will not stop the man from being able to have sex with that woman. So what the point of this? Why he did that? Any Muslim can tell us? What the point? Crazy, sick, mental illness. We just heard him saying, no, he can still have sex with the women. Oh, but only that woman, he cannot, why? And where it says in the whole story, this is only for that woman. Actually, the answer of Muhammad about that a woman she have to suckle an adult man, proven to us again that Muhammad is making fun of his people. Because this is stupid. And because today they are ashamed of what their prophet taught, they don't want to accept it. So they say, oh, he did not mean suckle. But the hadith says suckle. And the biggest scars of Islam, the one who teach hadith right now in Egypt, they say, yes, this is what it says. If you search right now, adult breast feeding fatwa in Google. It's all over. The head of the Azhar University, the head, those all the sheikhs who graduate, like they, they are, they, they are proud. I am a graduated from Al Azhar University, not me. I'm saying they are proud. Okay, the head, the one who teach them, the one who made them sheikh, is the one who issued the fatwa. That a woman she go in the bus, she should breastfeed everyone there. They have interview with them actually in TV. So the women in the TV, she said, are you saying to me, I have to suckle all those people who work with me in the studio in the TV? He said, yes. And all the story reference says that this woman who we are talking about, she is not a young woman. She is over the age to have children. So how she can suckle and suckle what? There's no milk. So Qasim, why you hang up, my friend? Why you did hang up? I don't understand. Where you go? We did not uh, finish. Can you come back on Skype? And I will not ask you a question, you know, you, you tell me something, you you know. We, we will change the topic, we spoke about it enough. What about Muhammad Qasim, he called us again, and show us a clear proof that Muhammad is a prophet. What do you think, guys? Can Muhammad do that?
When somebody says that he have a prophet, this is ultimate fault, I think. Yes, ultimate, how are you? Hello? Hello? Yeah, stupid idiot. Even your voice don't come. Let us see if Muhammad Qasim, he can give us any proof of his choice that Muhammad is a prophet. You see, we are giving him an ultimate freedom of from ultimate uh, boy from Nigeria uh, to give us any reference of his choice. Muhammad is not a prophet. Muhammad is not a prophet. Even Muslims don't believe he's a prophet. And we can prove it. Simple. He is not answering. He's typing for him. Muhammad Qasim is typing for me, but he is not uh, answering. Hmm. Hello? Hello, yes. Yes, my friend. Uh, do you hear me? Yes. You are a Muslim? Uh, yes. All right. What do you like to say to us? I was saying... I don't know if you heard me. If there's any proof that Muhammad is a prophet? Uh, first of all, who are you? <laughs> who are you? You are calling like, me and you're asking me who are you? No, no, I'm just... Uh, what do you want me to say? I want you to tell me how you believe Muhammad is a prophet. What makes you believe he's a prophet? Uh, because uh, I read the Quran. And, okay. Uh, and uh, I have, uh, you know... Come to, come to the conclusion that he's a prophet. Okay, God. give me, help me uh, to, to get the same conclusion you got from the Quran, as you said. How? What is the conclusion? Or how you get the conclusion in the Quran? Because help. in the Quran, yes. you have a lot of narrations too. And um, for example, you have the people of Moses, the people of uh, a lot of prophets. And the main message is reiterated over and over again. Hmm. It is to to uh, worship okay. the true God hmm. and to not obey the ev evil doers. Uh -huh, okay. And when I read the Quran, yes, I f found this pattern hmm. and I concluded this is true. All right. So the Quran forbid you from doing evil. Yes. That's that's really strange, because what I know that the Quran order you to do evil. Uh, yes, where? Okay, let me ask you, is having sex with the children is evil or not? It's evil. Okay, did the Quran order you to no. have sex with the children? No. no. Okay. I think not. All right, let us see if this is true or not. So if we go to the Quran right now, and I will give you the verses so you can read with me. Mm -hmm. All right, and this is verse number four in chapter 65. Mm. Okay, wait. Okay. This chapter talking about divorce. This is the chapter of divorce. Talking about uh, divorce in uh, children. You're talking about uh, Surah Nisa? Yes. No, chapter, no, so, no, sorry. Chapter 65, not Nisa. Ah, chapter 65, 65 at, at Talaq. Divorce chapter, verse number four. Okay. Mm. Wait. 64. Yes. What verse? <clears throat> chapter 4. Chapter 65, verse number 4. Okay. Number 4. Mm -hmm. Uh... Yes, I have it. Okay, is that about divorcing children? <clears throat> no, I don't see such. Okay, do you, do you like who, who explained the Quran for you? The scholars, correct? No. Who, who explained it for you? If you read it uh, logically, ah. you don't need any explanation. Oh, okay, I like the word logically. So why why you Muslims have tons of tafsir books then? If there's logically because. 
-hmm. because you no know, look in the first century of islam uh -huh. the muslims they were doing great uh, did they, they were, not they, they were winning were, they were uh, what they were what they were winning uh, all over the middle east the oh. battles against the romans the persians okay. that's history okay but later on they failed and they got destroyed up until today okay isn't that true yeah but how come it is because in the first century of islam the muslims were following the quran logically great but you know the persians when they lost hmm. they were just they were not just waiting uh, for the muslims to okay to do whatever they want okay. they had a plan and their plan was okay. to invent okay so my friend literature. okay what you yes. just said now that the first generation of islam those are the good muslim correct yes this that's is, why you don't have this is ibn, any hadith. okay no problem this is ibn abbas the cousin of your prophet and your prophet named him to be the scholar to explain the quran look what he says but those who have hold on hold on he says those who have no uh, administration because they are too young do you see it that's a wrong explanation but this is ibn abbas and you are the one who told me that the first generation of islam they are the true muslims who, who is Ibn Abbas? Who is this the man? The cousin of your prophet and your prophet named how, how, do you, how do you know that? I, because this is what you Muslim says. This is the cousin. Yes, but when was when was this hadith written? How many years after the death of the prophet? Well, maybe a week after. I don't know. No, this it is was his cousin. 300 he lived, no, just he lived, 300 years, he lived, 300 years he lived, after the death of the prophet. Okay, but all the hadith is collected hundreds of years after the prophet. So you accept Yes. That? You don't accept any hadith? The, I don't accept any hadith. Ah, okay. All right. So, did you hear the hadith? It says that there's no, like, uh, there's no difference between the black and white hadith? I don't accept any hadith. You don't accept any hadith. Okay. So, as long as you don't accept any hadith. Yes. Uh, do you know Arabic? Uh, a little bit. So, how do you understand Islam then? But just by reading the Quran. Uh, uh, by the way, when you say Islam. But you don't know Arabic. You, how you can read the Quran? Look, look. You don't need. Okay, look, the Quran says it is sent to all mankind: the Chinese, the Indians, where, everyone. Where, where, it say, need... where, where it says that? Where it says that? Rahmatul lil alamin. It says it's all mankind. No, he's it's talking about alamin. is talking about genie and human, and the human are the oh. Arab. Let us go to the Quran. You, you are the one who said that you accept only Quran, correct? Yes. All right. That's wonderful. So in the Quran it says Allah will not send a book or a messenger unless in the language and the tongue of the people. Does the Quran says that or no? Yes, and it did so. It sent to the Arabs and it, the Arabs understand it. So how this is a book for all mankind if it says only I will send to people who speak the language? Because God knows that people will translate it to other people no, no, and no, no, to no, spread no, no. the message. No, no, read carefully. You, it, it says here we sent not a messenger except to teach in the language of his own people in order to make things clear for them okay so the things will not be clear for you unless allah he send you a book in your language from a prophet or a prophet he is from your people the quran saying that and confirming he never sent anyone this is in the time of muhammad including muhammad so how muhammad can be a prophet for you when you are an indonesian person are you from Indonesia? No. Where are you from, if you don't mind? I'm from uh, Belgium. Belgium. Okay. Well, yes. Where are you from originally? Uh, my uh, parents are from Morocco. Oh, okay. So, okay. Moroccan are not Arab. I didn't speak Arabic. So, the Quran says... Yes, they do. No, they do no speak the Arabic you speak today is not Arabic. Come on. It's Yeah, it's a dialect. Ah, uh, yeah, come on. You know... It, yeah, uh, but and, and Moroccan are not Arab. And Moroccan are, you know, they are not to do the Arab. The Arabic yes, reply... Yes, yeah. yes, yes. Okay. Uh, okay. So, now, the Quran confirmed, and you are the one who said, I accept only Quran, that we never yes. send a book except in the tongue of the people and in the language of the people and the Prophet have to be from the people. So, how Muhammad is a Prophet for someone from Indonesia? Can you show me this first, please? Chapter 14, verse number 4. It's on the screen. Chapter 14, okay. I will look at it. And even the Quran make it clear in order they might understand. Yes, because obviously 
God cannot send every language to you know he has to to choose to choose one language. No, it, so that the people it says the opposite. Understand. No, 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 my friend. It says the opposite. It says Allah will not send the messenger, and He did not send a messenger yes, except to teach in the tongue and the language of the people, and He have to be from the people. So you're saying the opposite now. So in India, there's at least 400 languages. So in order for Allah to send Islam to Indian, he have to send 400 messengers and each one of them have a book in their language. For, just for India alone. Yes, that's a good point. Um... Yeah, for, 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 for okay. But in the verse it says that he might make plain. For me, the Quran is the Quran is plain. I what? understand it. No, 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 no. It says they might understand. So they might understand. So Allah, what what confirmed for us, my friend here, that Allah sent not. Does it say we sent not? It says messenger. Okay, we sent not. Was a messenger and a prophet. It doesn't matter. No, he's a he's a messenger. Messenger, no, you see, you know, you see, this is funny when the Muslims they say messenger and the prophet, because messenger, a message from who? It's from everyone can be a messenger. Okay. I can be a messenger. You can be a messenger. But, but isn't, everyone can but be a isn't messenger. it all the message coming from God is uh, unknown? Look, the message. Look, look, is it is it God, known or unknown? God. So if God now God. gave me a message and now that make me a messenger, okay. If yes. I then say to you the message, do you know the message of Allah without me? No, I have to no. say to you what he told me. So yes. a messenger is a prophet of Allah because he go to you, he prophesy to you. He says to you, I warn you, judgment day is coming. So he's prophesying about judgment day. So a messenger, he have to be a prophet prophesying in the name of God. It's not his prophecy. It is no, what, I, I, no, no. A the, messenger is someone who, who has a message. Who sh okay, my friend, my friend, message. let us go with you. Okay, is Muhammad a messenger or not? He is. Okay, the verse says we send not a messenger, correct? Yes. Okay, so Muhammad is included. Muhammad is included, yes. Okay, so we send not a messenger, including Muhammad, except to teach in the language of his own people in order the to make it clear for them. Yes. So it so, have to be from the people and the book have to yes. be in their yes. language. So the Quran, yes. the Quran cannot no, be... No, 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 not the book, not the book. It, it doesn't say the It doesn't say the book. It says? It says a messenger in their tongue. It, it does not say a okay. book in their tongue. Okay, what, the message in which tongue? A messenger, it says. Okay, the message, the message in which tongue? It can be every tongue. No, it says in the tongue of his own, in the tongue yes, of his whole, his people. Every, this verse it says every okay. people. Okay, when Muhammad he was teaching, in when Muhammad tongue. was teaching, did, did he teach Quran or he was not using Quran? Look, go, just let, let me explain. Is the Quran yes, is is part of the teaching of Muhammad? No, it's teaching of God. Okay, and who is the one who gave you the Quran? Jibril, the the end angel. And Jibril gave it to who? He gave it to a man called Muhammad. Okay, and Muhammad gave it to you, correct? No, he don't. I did. I never saw Muhammad give it to me. No, he's dead one four hundred years ago. Okay, but didn't he give to grand 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 grandfather and then gave him to you? No, no. He, he had the the message he shared with the people around him and the okay. people they so, were okay. Arabs. So, so, uh, so Muhammad they, he shared the message with the people. What the message is? It was the Quran. Yes. Okay. So this is what the verse is saying. Muhammad, he is a messenger and one of many messengers we send, but none of them we send except in the tongue of his own people to make it clear for them. So Muhammad, he cannot be a messenger for someone from Morocco. Because no, he, he cannot not... be a messenger for... No, yes, true. But he can be a prophet for someone else. No, he cannot be a messenger. If he can't yes. be a messenger, he can't be a prophet anyway. So you cannot... No, that's not true. Because, that's, okay, that's not what no, I believe. No, because you cannot be a prophet without delivering the message. No, no. You can be can a prophet. You, can you be a prophet without delivering a message from God? No. You cannot. Okay, but, but just like, look. Muhammad, he had a message. Hmm. So he shared the message with his people. Okay. His people was of the same tongue, Arabic. Uh -huh. But this, their people, so whoever received the Quran, hmm. 
Mm-hmm. He shared it elsewhere with other people in their tongue. So so it, it continued. So it has it has not to, to be Arabic. Who said that? But the, the verse does not say it has to be Arabic. <coughs> no, it says. The, here we go. It says the messenger has to be in there. No, that is not okay. the message. We will show you different verses. No problem. The Quran confirm it have to be Arabic, and it is for the look, Arab. Look, it's very simple. Muhammad he sends the message. My friend, in Arabic. it's very simple. You don't you don't know you know what I'm talking about. It says inna in the end, the Quran in Arabian la alakum taqilun. Okay. Yes. So okay. you have to so learn Arabic. We send it to you. No, we send it to you in Arabic, so you might understand. Okay. So now yeah, the because Quran. Arabic is a coherent language. It's a logical language. It, it, it's not like any other language uh, who has a lot of like inconsistencies. Ah, the Quran, the, uh, the Arabic does not have inconsistency. Okay. Well, the name of your God is wrong. The word Bism in, in, in a Quran is, is f- the Quran is full of Arabic mistakes. But let us go here. Yes. It says a book where four verses are explained in details in Arabic. Does it say that? Yes. Okay. Is yes. the Quran is the Quran explained? Yes. Okay. Explain to me chapter f- sixty-five, verse four. Sixty-five, verse four. Verse four. The one I gave it to you first time. Okay. Wait. Hmm. Verse four, okay, at the lock. So, verse four, and for such woman of despair of menstruation, if you doubt, the waiting period shall be three months, mm. as well as for those who have not menstruated, mm. and for those who are bearing, the waiting period shall be till they lay down their burden. Wonderful. And whoso is prudent, fear of God, he he makes for him of his comment is wonderful so the quran confirm in chapter 41 verse number three that the yes. quran is self-explained book wonderful now i gave you a chapter 65 verse 4 it says women who they never have or uh, 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 like females who they never no, have no, no it does not say never have it says and for such of a woman of despair of menstruation so these are women no, no read before it read before ha- it no read before it read before it sir and those who did not have menstruation ever those who never had yes, menstruation. Yes. Okay. But so, that doesn't mean they are child. That so, doesn't mean that. Because a lot of women who did not have menstruation, but they are still in their 20s, in their, they have a pro- medical problem. Don't, uh, don't you know okay. that? But those are rare. What? Those are rare. Are uh, what? Rare, rare. Very rare. rare. Yeah, rare, rare. Like very, uh, very few yeah. they have such issue. Usually women. But it have... exists, so okay. God has to mention oh, okay. it. Okay. But did Muhammad marry a child? She is six years old. No, he did not. Who? Oh, why not? Where, where, where you get this from? Because, because the, the the Quran says you can only marry with woman, oh. and woman is m- mature age. Okay. It says in the okay. Quran. Listen. So mm-hmm. why all the scholars agree that those are too young to have menstruation? You see, I showed you Ibn Abbas, the cousin of the Prophet. I can show any mm-hmm. scholars. All of them they agree that those are too young to have menstruation. And now we are talking about yes. divorcing them. So why the scars of Islam, they say, this is about two young girls, and you are saying no. How come they are wrong? What? Why would you uh, listen to the scars of Islam? Why would you? Why I will listen to you? Are you a scholar? Hey, don't, no, don't listen to me. Just read it for yourself and okay, you we did read get it. it. Okay, we did read it. It says, women who did not have their menstruation, uh, 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 female who never had their menstruation. Okay, so you said those are women who have, you know, they have like illness, so they do not have menstruation. Do you have a proof? Look, the verse says this proof of menstruation. So that means no, this woman no, did, no, it's never. It, no, no, it says they speak about different two, two kind. Those who they are lost hope of menstruation making because, because obviously they are old. Yes. And then it says you have to wait for them. By the way, why you have to wait for them three months? Three months. Um, I don't know. No, uh, look, three I've months. Not three months to confirm that they are not carrying a child in their womb. Correct. Yes. But what kind of God he think that it take three months to know? Mm, maybe. Wait. Wait. Uh, well, I, I don't know why it's three, mon- three because months. Because it's wrong. Because it's wrong. You do not need to wait three months to know. Why is it wrong? But wh- yeah, who do she, you... ha- she ha- the woman, she have her period. That's it. That means she is not carrying a child, you know. That's it. You don't need to wait three months. Uh, one month, two months. That's it. Three months. 
this guy Muhammad is stuck with number three. So the verse here is speaking about having sex with the children and divorcing children. And the hadith confirmed that your prophet married six years old girl. No, and this is my, evil. I don't. This is your interpretation. This is. This your not, reading of this it. is not my, my interpretation. No, this is yes, your interpretation. Yes, yes. See, this is this is, a, this this is, is Ibn yes, Abbas. Yes. This is Ibn Abbas, my friend. Yes, yes, yes. This is Ibn but, Abbas, and this is he, and he is the cousin of Muhammad, and he is the one saying, "There's women because of their old age, they don't have menstruation, and there's girls who they are too young. That's why they don't have menstruation. And now we but, are talking about what divorcing them. So you marry them when one when, when when they were one day old, because now now divorcing them." We're talking about divorcing them, and yet, even in the time of divorce, still they don't have menstruation. Oh, I don't uh, agree with the interpretation of Ibn Abbas. I don't ag agree with it. Okay, let us forget about this. Can you give me something in the Quran that will make me Muslim? So, so something in the, the Quran that? Make me Muslim. Like, let us say, you saw me in Belgium and you are a Moroccan person, you want to convert me to Islam. W how you can convert me to Islam? Help me. What you will say to me? Just, do, you, do, just, you, do you promise me virgin, like I will have a lot of sex in heaven? No, no. Why no, no? Thing, Why no, no? I'm sorry, can you repeat? If I met you in Belgium and I am a Christian and you want to convert me, are you going to I come to me and say... I don't want to convert. No problem. We are just uh, going to have a conversation, my friend. No problem. So... Are you going to promise me women with big boobs to convert to Islam? I am I am going to promise you eternal peace. Why you, why you will not promise me boobs? But why you don't promise eternal... me? Why you don't promise me? Why you don't say to me convert to Islam and get women with big boobs? Why what's wrong? That's not wrong. I can say that. Okay. I, okay. You can. Uh... So did your God promise you women with big boobs if you convert to Islam? Yes. Is that good? Is there anything wrong with women? No, nothing wrong with the women, but there's... So why, why, but there's okay, what's your point? Actually, where it says there's women. Do you see the word women in the in the, in the, in the verse? It says, There's no women. It says big boobs. Where's, no, there's, there's no women. Obvi where, is the, where is the women? Where is the word what women? What verse you talking about? Surah Rahman or what? The chapter of an naba chapter 78, verse number 33. 78. In the translation, they put the word women, but in Arabic, there's no women. So now, why does God, he promised me, if I believe in him, he will give me big boobs? What is the connection let, between let, Allah? Let me, let me read the, the verse first. Yeah. 78, you said, huh? Yeah. Verse number 33. 33. Okay. Well-matched maidens with swelling breasts. Their, their, their breast is a swelling? I don't know what swelling means. Uh, swelling is mean like you hit something with the hammer or like you close the door of the van on your, on your finger, it will swell. You know, it will become big. So their breast is a swelling? It says... What, transla what translation you are reading? Uh, it's, it's, it's not very known. Well, well, okay, give me the name. Maybe I can find it here. His, his name is Sam Gerens. I don't know who this guy. Okay, so swelling, swelling the breast. Allah will give you women with swelling breast. Why? What What is the connection between Allah and breast? Believing in Allah and breast. Because in life, what do men like? Oh, what men like? You tell me. What men like? What? Big, big breast? What What do you like? What do you like? I like women to leave me alone. I don't want to go to heaven and find women there. I'm running away from them. So now you are saying to me that what makes you believe in Allah is big, bo big boobs? No, I'm saying what, what makes me believe in Allah is that in this life you have, you have tests, you have to, to overcome these things, you have to overcome... Uh, Over, overcome overcome, uh, overcome uh, what? Your God, Allah, actually is making you... Uh, more overcome the shaitan, obviously. Well, 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 shaitan is the one who tempt you, right? He, he what? Shaitan is the one who tempt you, correct? He tempts me. Tempt, 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 he tempts ah, you. Tempt, yeah, yeah. Tempt. Okay, but, yes, he, but, is it, tempt, but yes. isn't it Allah now he is tempting you by big boobs? No, he's promising, he's not tempting. But this is, okay, Shaitan he promised me too. Shaitan he promised me if I follow him. The, pro the, the Shaitan he promises and he tempts. Yes. Okay, Allah he is promising you because he did not give you the big boobs yet. Did you have them? Uh, no. Okay, so he is a promise in you. It's for the future. In the same time, it's temptation because you said this is what men like. 
Correct. No, because that's not temptation. Because I, I will have to to have to trust and to wait a long time before. The no problem, but still is the so now you are you are patient, patiently waiting in front of the door of Allah. So one day He will open and the boobs will come in your face. Like boing, 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 they hit your face. And like the party time. This is what you are saying to me. Patient, you are patient now waiting for the boobs. Are you waiting for Allah or for the boobs? For Allah. Okay. What, so what's the connection between Allah and the boobs? The, the, the connection is that uh, Allah he created Adam. And he created from Adam his uh, partner. Okay. And so that's you can have tranquility. Well, in, he should, in, he should uh, promise so? you. He should promise you then the same as he promised Adam, Eve, one Eve, someone, a woman, you love her and you, she love you. That's it. But he is not a promise new Eve. He promised you women you do not know. And he is a promise new. That, look what he described for you. He says that their vagina has never been touched by a genie or a human. I don't yes. want to use the bad language uh, because the Quran Why is bad that? language. Why the, is that? Because the Quran is bad language. No. Oh, let me show you. Here we go. Why What's Allah, definition why Allah, why Allah describing for me what is inside the vagina? So now we knew that they have big boobs. And now he is describing what is inside the vagina. Where, where do we find that? Well, all over the Quran, my friend. Here we go. Let us show you. Uh, you can read with me in the screen and people will see. Read with me. Volume to women of equal age. Uh, chapter 55, verse number 56. Wherein both will be those median, restraining in their gunas upon their husbands, whom no man or jinn yet muthahun. Between two yes. brackets, he opened their humans with sexual yes. intercourse. So Allah is telling you, He is telling you what is inside the vagina now. He described what is inside the vagina. Why is doing that? Why don't say uh, virgin? Why he described what is inside the vagina? Wait, let me wait. Restraining the husbands. He does not in, uh, describe what is in it. No, he described because he told us is, yeah. that the skin is inside the vagina is never been broken. Correct? He's yes. Good? Okay. So, and he they did not bleed. Okay. So Allah, he des described for us, not the women. He described for us their vagina. The state of the women. Oh, no, the state of the vagina, not of the women. But it is part of the women. Okay. Do you see, do you see the women there? Do you see the word women? It says those, but it's referencing the woman. Okay, referencing to women, but it's speaking about their vagina. Okay, so now Allah, all what He did, He described for us big boobs and described for us a vagina. What is the women? So you said all the, the, the Quran talks about just this. Well, you tell me, okay, well, do you see anything else? Look, read with me. It says here that Allah, you are going to have a, a, a coat or a dress made in Iran. But Iran, at that time, they were, you know, Persian... Uh, Kuffar, so you know you stabrak. You will wear a green silk made in Iran, and then right away he jump about the vagina. What is the connection? I I have not uh, studied this. Read uh, me. It says, it says here that in the heaven he promised you, huh? Every mm -hmm. every Muslim he will have two 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 paradise. Two paradise. Why two paradise? What you would do with two paradise? You prefer to have two gardens instead of one. You have two paradise. Why? Why two? Because two is better than one. Okay. Why about? But then that's been three better than two. Yes, but maybe it symbolizes something else. I don't know exactly. Yeah, in what. the hadith it says one is made from uh, uh, silver and one is made from gold. But I said again. I said to you, I don't accept the hadith. Exactly. So but you just said you are the one who says you do not need the hadith. You need the Quran. You can explain. And now you are saying to me, you can explain. But I have look. Hmm. So he, you will have to have no problem. Just let it go. And then, uh, uh, then right away, your God he jump, and he says uh, there's a branches in the heaven. Will I have branches in my yard? And then look. Okay, and there is yeah, two. And there is two spring. The the, are, there is the two river, spring of water the flowing. There is two spring. What does that mean? So what? Who, who cares? And then there is there is a, from every kind of a fruit, two kind, male and female. That's funny and stupid. And then he says, and then he will be sitting 
on a, on a, on a couch or in a bed and uh, those beds are uh, covered uh, the, the, the fabric of it made in Iran uh, what yes, does that mean? Okay. there's a recompense okay. Wait, what's the and then right away he jumped that uh, there's, uh, there, is, uh, there is vaginas who nobody touched them yes okay and how the vagina look like so, I'm sorry how the vaginas look like do they look like rubies Uh, look, the, the Quran just says if you behave My friend, the, correctly, the, the then... vagina, forget about this. I'm asking you now. Does the Quran describe the vagina, how they look like? That they look like rubies and coral? Yes. Okay. Why you need the vagina look like ruby and coral? I'm sorry, was, why? Why, uh, why what? Well, you know, a, a vagina look like ruby. I mean, what does that mean? Because it's precious. Okay, so now all the women is made of ruby, and her vagina is made of ruby, and she is made no. from coral. Is she made from coral or like coral? It's whatever you want. You are in, in uh, the paradise. You, you decide what you want. Oh, you can redesign it. I feel, okay, whatever you want. That's wonderful. Okay, so now, okay, now, what? What is? Why does God is making us talking about food, dress? It says they are like. They are not rubies. They are like. Okay, rubies. they are not like. Are you saying Allah is like, lying? Are you saying lying? They are like it's rubies. like you say. Okay. It's like you say. My son is like something very like a core a ruby. It's like your son is precious. It just mean that. Okay, they are like rubies. What? But is ruby? Yes. How women they it's can be like? It's a metaphor. It's a metaphor. Exactly. It's a metaphor. But he's describing yeah. us. Uh, is the women metaphor or they are real? The, the women what? Are they are they metaphor the women or real? They are real. Okay. So what is the metaphor of a vagina which look like ruby? It means uh, that it is uh, like a ruby, it's, it's precious. It's a precious vagina? Yes. Wonderful. You know, I, I was, I, I, I'm almost, I'm converting by the way, because now we heard that there's a God, he will give us women, they are like rubies and their vagina look like rubies. And this is my dream, you know, I, I wanted always, I was afraid that women vagina, they are not like rubies or coral, but now Allah, he convinced me, yeah. So, so this is what will make me, I became a Muslim. Okay, no. what if I don't became a Muslim? What Allah will do to me? But you don't even know what Muslim means. What does Muslim mean? You tell me. What, uh, go ahead. Muslim means someone who submits. Where it, he say, submits. Where it says that? Where you learn this? It says, Min al Muslimin. It says uh, that. You, what what Muslim? It comes from uh, the root word Salam. It, Islam, it means submission. No, my friend, Salam. Salam is the opposite. Salam means, you know. Peace, Islam means to surrender. Yes. Okay. So it's, 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 it's to surrender to God. Exactly. Don't you want to surrender so it's, to God? you surrender in war. You don't surrender in peace. So you surrender. You don't. You see, the Muslim they lie to us, or maybe by mistake, or maybe because of their ignorance, they say that the word uh, Islam uh, mean a submission, but the Quran confirm that the word Islam mean to surrender. Like as an example, in chapter 48, verse number 11, and chapter 48, verse number 16, confirm to us that either you surrender to Allah or we will kill you. Right? No. Okay, here we go. Let us go to chapter uh, 48. Open the Quran with you from, from your side. 48 outside? Yeah. Go at first, sorry. Uh, 16. 16. Yeah. Say to the wandering Arab, who they left behind, those who yes. don't join Islam, you will be called against folk of might powers to fight them until they surrender. This is the word Islam, translation of the word Islam, Muslimun. So you fight and then they surrender. Then those people, they surrender to Islam. What happened to them? Do you remember what happened to them? Uh... They will get fight. No, no. Those who surrender to Islam, they became Muslim, right? Yes. Okay. Is the one who be is a Muslim is a believer or not a believer? He's a he's a believer. The Quran says no. The Quran no, 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 wait. What? No, no, no. The Quran someone says, who submits, who, someone who submits, he can submit to anything. He doesn't have to be a believer. No, no, no. Somebody he surrender to Allah. Is he a, is he a believer or not? Not necessarily. 
So how you submit to Allah and you, or you surrender to Allah and you are not a believer? How how that happen? Belief is expressed by saying I believe in God. Okay. It's simple. So if the Arab they say I believe in Allah, is that making mm -hmm. a believer or not? Yes. Okay. The Quran didn't agree with you. In chapter forty nine, okay. verse number fourteen says, the wandering Arab, the Bedouin, they say we believe. They believe what in, in Islam. Uh, they said that to Muhammad. We said the Shia Shahada. Muhammad said to them, you believe not, but rather you say, we are Muslims. So we surrender. So Muhammad saying to them, don't say we believe, say we are, we surrender. What, what verse is that? <laughs> Chapter 49, verse number 14. So the Quran confirmed that Muslims are forced to convert to Islam. And Muhammad is saying to them, Allah told me to tell you that you cannot lie to him. You are a bunch of liars. You convert to Islam because I was going to kill you. So don't yes. say... If don't yes, say okay, don't okay. don't say we believe say we are muslims so in islam allah teach us that you can be a muslim and you don't believe that's okay that's true but okay but look, this is but this is that's mean islam is from the devil because no no, no look how no either you, allah either, is forcing you to be a hypocrite allah no, is look, forcing either, you allah is forcing you, submit, you to say either you submit to god or you submit to to the Satan. They submit what to God, choose? they submit already, but they don't believe because Muhammad, he forced them by the sword. So look what happened. Allah is saying to them, not Muhammad, you say, you say, we believe. Say, Don't say we believe, say we are Muslims. So the Quran teach that a Muslim is someone who don't believe. A Muslim is someone who say I'm a Muslim. Do you see it? Believing is yeah. not required in Islam. Uh, it is it is required well, read the verse in the front of you you say you believe but you believe not rather say so allah advising them what to say say we surrender to our muslims no the arabs the arabs they say we believe okay exactly but, but allah, god knows in their hearts that they have not believed exactly so what allah said to them don't say that don't say we believe say say we are muslims so Allah is correcting them, saying, don't say we believe, say we are Muslims. Yes, because they have not, uh, faith has not entered their heart. Exactly. Hearts. So a Muslim is somebody, his faith did not enter his heart. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you got me, but... Uh, How in the world this is religion? So this God is teaching us to be hypocrite. He don't, he don't care if we believe or not. He's just saying, be, say we're Muslim. But we don't believe no, in you. No. Say, just say we are no, Muslim. No, no. Don't care. Yeah, it's, no, no. You just it, said it, that. Not... You agree with me. You, you just said you got me. You yes, believe yes, yes. not, but rather say. No, he, no, no, no. he is teaching them what to say. Don't say we believe. You don't believe. Believe did not enter your heart. But you no. should say we are yes. Muslims. Yes, because you either submit to the to the true they authority. Did already, or they did the already, my authority. friend. They did. They did. They did. Allah telling them what to say now. They did already. They became they are not a shahada. So they say we believe. He said, "No, don't say we believe. We don't believe. Say we are Muslims." No, it doesn't say say you are Muslim. Say it says here we go. Here we go. No, no, no. You see, you are, you are reading translation, my friend. Let me read for you in Arabic. I'm sure if you do not yes. know Arabic, you speak a little yes. bit Arabic, right? Okay. It says yes, yes. here we go. Okay. قل لم تؤمنوا ولكن قولوا أسلمنا. Do you see it? Yeah. Okay. Yes, Aslamna. Aslamna. So say we are Muslims. Correct? Yes. Okay. So he's saying to them, don't say you don't believe, huh? <laughs> but you should say, you should say, we are Muslims. So how in the world, what kind of religion says you are not a believer, but you should say we are Muslims? Jesus will not accept that. Mm -hmm. Jesus, he warned us from hypocrite. He said, not everyone says to me, Lord, Lord, God, God will enter the kingdom of my father, but the one who will do his will. Muhammad is, saying the opposite. The next, Muhammad the next, saying, the you can be. Is, but if you obey God and his messenger. How you can obey God? You? You, okay, hold on. So you are saying to me, you obey Muhammad, you are a Muslim, even if you don't believe in Muhammad. What kind of religion is religion is? No. If you believe, if you obey God and his messenger, the next the next verse you say, the believers are but those who believe in God and his messenger. No, then no, 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 it doesn't say that. He says, yes, Wa in tutiyo, no, he says, you believe not. Here we read with me carefully. He says, and you believe not, and faith did not even enter heart. Yet, no, I'm talking yet, about no listen, 15, listen, 15, he's talking, the next he's, no, yeah, he's talking to the same people. Yet, if you obey Allah and his messenger, you will not withhold from 
like from your deed. So Allah promising them, even if you don't believe in me, even heart never, your heart never have faith, you just obey but, Muhammad. No, 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 look, look. It's like, do you believe in your government? <laughs> they don't believe in the government. They just ever says. But you submit, you submit to the government. You have to friend, pay your taxes. No, but don't you don't be believe. No, in it. no, no. Listen. So you are saying to me, your prophet is a government, and the Muslim don't believe no, no, in this I'm government. Saying, I'm saying. So Allah that's mean. That's mean. That? Muhammad oh, is a sorry. fraud. Muslims, no. those Muslims, they believe Muhammad is a fraud. Is a scam. They refuse to believe no, no, in no, him. No, 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 Muhammad, no, no, no. he said to them, Allah told me, as long you obey me, it's okay. The verse says that in front of you. But obeying the messenger means obeying God. No problem. But they don't believe in this God and they don't believe in this messenger. So they don't, you they are, don't have to. So they, they don't are, have to. They, are, they don't, yeah, have, they don't they have, have to, guys. Did you hear it? They don't have to. So a, a good Muslim is the one who don't have to no, believe no. in Allah. <laughs> he don't have to believe good. in that God. But he obey God. That's it. Okay, it's good. Don't, no problem. Don't, don't jump to conclusion. Too you fast, are the one please. who said that. You said you don't have to. But... You have, you have not let me speak. Always you are. Uh, you, uh, no, you are me. talking from like, and now we are complaining. We are talking for the last hour, me and you. And uh, we didn't change yeah. the way we talk. And now you are complaining because just, you are in a corner. Look, so in life, in life, you, you, you either submit to the evil or to, to the good. Okay. Is Allah is okay. So now those people, they did not submit to Allah. Did they submit to Allah? They, they, they did. They did submit. They did. Okay. But they don't believe in Allah, correct? They don't have to. Okay, so they did not submit then. You, you can't know. You can't know what you, you see. There. Submit. You can't, the know, submit. you can't know what he. You no. can't know what submit he believes. Submit is can't... something you do willingly. Submit is I submit. Yes. Okay, but yes. now you yes. are saying to me they don't believe. That's me. They did not submit. Muhammad he forced them by the sword. Says convert or no, I will no, kill you. No, look, it's like today. In the government, you either submit to the government or you, you get in jail, but you don't necessarily okay. believe in. The okay, government. you know we we cover this topic. Let me ask you, what is your education? Uh, 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 programming. That's wonderful. Yeah. Did, yeah. Allah, did Allah program you? Yes. He program you. Yes. So you believe in destiny? Yes. Okay. So how you talk about belief if it's a destiny anyway? Allah destiny for you to be a Muslim, correct? Well, uh, yes. Okay, Allah does deny for me to be a Christian, correct? Maybe you'll not later. No, no. Allah he does deny for me to be a Christian, yes or no? I don't know what your destiny is. No, no, no. Allah is the one who does deny for me whatever I am, correct or no? Yes. Okay. So how Islam is exist then? If it's a destiny anyway. So you believe, you don't believe. It's not, you are not believing anyway. It's a destiny. Islam is the most stupid religion because no, no, this, it means you have your own choice. Choice. What is the That's... choice? Okay, what is the choice? You just said to me destiny. No, in the, the Quran says you have your own cho where, choice. Where it says? Where it says? It says in the Quran everything. In, in Surah Baqarah, uh, two five four I think, of two five six. Uh... Chapter two. Yes. Verse two. What? It's after. Um. Two five five two five five. I think I think the Quran two five five. Yes. You are sure. Yeah, of two five six. Wait, oh, okay. Let's see. Let's see. Let us see. We'll, we will end. Okay. Let us see. Here we go. Hmm. Yes, two five six. No compulsion two, five, is there in the in the religion okay. in doctrine. Okay. Well, so well, if there is no compulsion, you you are free to do what you want to do. Uh, where it says that. Two five six. Where it says there's no conclusion in religion. No comp no compulsion in doctrine. Okay, where it says that this is what does that mean? It this is you have you have a free uh, you have free soul, you do whatever you want. Okay, so chapter nine verse twenty nine says kill those who don't believe in Allah. No no, so no. How chapter does two, no? chapter two. I, I understand. So how this is it says there's no this is abrogated, this Muhammad when he was weak. Muhammad, when he had no army, he was speaking actually not only to the he was speaking to the no, Christians. Listen, I don't he was speaking I don't to Christians, the Jews. I don't believe, he was speaking I don't to the Arab. Any. Listen, listen. He was speaking to the Arab, saying to them, "You cannot force your children not to convert to Islam." So he was not talking about not to force you to convert to Islam, because Muhammad himself he ordered in the Quran, and you said you believe in the Quran, chapter nine, verse twenty-nine. Kill those who don't believe in Allah. Correct. 
No, I, I say this verse is not abrogated. No problem. If this is not abrogated, that's mean the contradiction in chapter. No. Okay, chapter nine, verse number twenty-nine. Can you read it for me? Chapter nine. Hmm. Does it say, "Fight and kill those who don't believe in Allah in the last day, and they, or they don't forbid what Muhammad forbid, specifically the Christian and the Jews"? Wait, I'm going to read it. Hmm. What, what verse? Chapter nine, verse number twenty-nine. Twenty-nine. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. Read it for us. Go ahead. So, oh, you heed the warning. If you, if you be in prudent fear of God, He will make you for you a division, and remove from you your evil, mm -hmm. and forgive you. And God is one possessing tremendous of bounty. What are you reading? Ah, uh, this uh, no, no, it's uh, chapter eight. Sorry, twenty-nine. You said that. Chapter nine, verse twenty-nine. Yes. Fight those who believe not in God for the last day. Hmm. Uh, make not unlawful what God and His Messenger have made unlawful, and adhere not to the doctrine of truth. Hmm. Among those in possession of the law, until they make reparation under supervision, when they are brought low. Hmm. You said there is no composure in Islam. He is fighting them because they don't believe in Allah. They don't believe in the last day. They don't believe what is forbidden by Muhammad. In this context, it says fight when you are attacked. Where, not where it says that? Where it, say, where it says that? Where? In the previous what? verses. Where? Where it says that? No, no. The previous verse. Not... The previous verse says Muhammad is a racist. Says anyone is not a Muslim, he is najis. He's filthy. No, Muslim, it is, it is not a race. It's okay, read it. Be no, read it. it says, the verse before it says, those who they are not Muslims are the, the pagan, the polytheist, adulterers, etc. Those are najis. You know what najis mean? In clean. In, in filthy. certain context. Filthy. So, according to your religion, anyone is not Muslim is filthy. This is racist. No. No? So you think I'm a filthy now? No, because save the idolaters with whom you made a pledge, they are not deficient towards you in anything, and help you not against you. Fulfill to them their pledge to its return. God loves those who. No, 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 don't don't, don't mix things up. Don't mix things up. Am I faithy? Am I faithy or not for you? Am I faithy for you or not? If you wage war against the truthful. Where is war? It says here, fight those who don't believe in Allah. Do you see the word war? Save the idolaters. What idolaters? Hold on, it says fight against those who believe not in Allah. Verse 4, verse 4, save the idolaters. What verse 4? Of the same chapter, al -Tawba. What What does this have to do? Actually, here Muhammad is, uh, uh, Muhammad made an agreement with the Arab and he is washing his hand from it. Actually, the real name of this chapter is Bara'a, uh, not, uh, not uh, Tawbah, Bara'a, which means he signed, he signed an agreement with the, with the Arab and he washed his hand from the Arab. He says, I owe the agreement I signed with them. It's gone. Go kill them. Come no, on. save the idolaters who you no, made the pledge. No, it says, all the agreement we signed with them, it is gone. Go and kill for the coming four months. Uh, yes, feel free. Okay. okay. Secondly, your prophet did not have any agreement with the Christians. So why in chapter 9, verse number 29, saying kill the Christians? What the Christians did? The answer is very simple. In verse number 28 it says, because now he killed the Arab, he took over the Kaaba, and he forbid them from coming. He says, if you are afraid that you will have, you will be poor, you will suffer from poverty, don't worry. Attack the Christian and the Jews and take their money. Read it. Right away, the verse after it. If you are afraid, if you are afraid people of Mecca, if you are afraid Arab, Muslims, if you are afraid that you will be poor now because we killed all the Jews, you, we, killed, about we, killed, we killed all those who don't believe in me, you are afraid that you will fear a poverty, don't worry, Allah will give you his bounty. What is the bounty? Fight against the Christian and the Jews, kill them, and force them to pay jizya. So it was for money. Uh, yes, uh, but what verse are you talking about? Verse 30. Chapter... 9 verse 29 verse number 28 29 okay. so he want to kill them for a very simple reason 
doesn't say there anywhere because they are fighting you no fight this is specific for the christian and the jews fight those no. against those who don't believe in allah doesn't matter who jizya uh it, jizya does not mean what you think it is what does it mean my the verse uh the, it says until they make reparation and the supervision hmm. when they are brought low. Law. That's, that's my law. Okay, does it say you have to bring them law? L low. Okay. Means lower. Low, like under your shoes. Yes. Okay, so just you mean to humiliate the Christians, to put them under your shoes? No, it means metaphorically that they Not have metaphorically, to be, you are going in war, you are killing them just metaphorically now. You are taking their country, they are taking their money, you are taking your women, their women, and now you are saying to me metaphorically, and it says you have to bring them law. And I say to you, it's mean under, you put them under your shoes. You said yes, just metaphorically now. Wait, wait, let me just process the verse. <laughs> metaphorically. Anyway, my friend, take care. I'm here for long, and it's time. That's enough for today. So, you know, this is what happened. You know, this, this kid, he's, he don't want to read interpretation. He don't want to read. Because reading interpretation is, uh, is, is, is going to make him look bad. So we did our best without going reading interpretation. It's obvious. I'm not going to hold you. From being a fool. If you want to be a fool, it's your business. But don't waste my time. Your prophet is an evil man. Extremely evil. From sex with the children to rape. Stealing the money. Flirting with the wife of his son. A very filthy man. And a liar. The Jews say, Hosea, the son of Allah, where we can find that in the Bible? Where we can find that the Jews, they worship a person, his name is Uzair. Mental. He's looking for excuse to kill them. And the Christian, they say the Messiah, the son of Allah. So you kill them? Yes. And then he said to you, go to chapter 2, verse number 256, says there's no conclusion in Islam. That is a joke. That is a verse Muhammad, he said the opposite way. You cannot force your children not to convert to Islam, not the opposite, because Muhammad said, go and kill them. And Muhammad, he made it clear. This is why he don't want the hadith. You see, when the Muslims, they say, I accept only the Quran, that's because they are ashamed of their prophet. It's a clear sign of being ashamed. Muhammad, he said, I've been victorious by terror. He's proud about it. The first terrorist is Muhammad, not ISIS. You see it? All of this is Sahih. He's a terrorist. If Muhammad exists right now, in our time, our Marines will be hunting his ass with no mercy. And they will send the dog like they did to the Caliphate to get him from his tail. This is Muhammad. He is the first terrorist. You see, they lie when they say ISIS are not Islam. When Muhammad is saying, to, I am the first terrorist. All those are authentic. Even, even he says that people did terrify because of my terror from a distance of one month journey. One month journey, imagine how filthy he is. People are terrified when they hear that Muhammad is one month journey, not anymore, come to Muhammad. Not one month journey, one day journey. You will see what we will do to you. Muhammad, he says, I've been ordered to kill all mankind. A Muslim, Abdul, he's smart, he says, oh, it says to fight all mankind, not to kill. To fight, to kill them. I've been ordered to kill all mankind until they say I'm a prophet. All mankind, people who fought him, don't fought him, doesn't matter. That's why ISIS are going all over. 
and you put conditions not only you have to say shahada you have to pray not only you have to pray you have to pay him not only you have to pay him you have to eat as he eat not only you have to eat as he eat, you have even to say what he say and then and only then their blood is safe from the filthy Muhammad criminal And then you will see a stupid people like Joe Biden and others saying to you, the prophet of Islam, he said this, quoting the filthy criminal. Nobody want to say the truth. These days, the more hypocrite you are, the more lovely you are. The second you quote what Muhammad said, you will say you are spreading hate. I'm just I'm quoting what Muhammad said, oh, you are spreading hate. So you agree that Muhammad is a prophet of hate, yes. But they don't dare to say it. I consider anyone who don't believe in the hadith and tafsir is um, out of Islam already. Actually, Muslims, they have fatwa about it, that somebody who don't believe in the hadith, he is not a Muslim anymore. He is an apostate. And this is a very good thing, by the way. They feel ashamed of their prophet, so they don't want to delete the biography of their faithy prophet. And then they try to hide behind the book, it's called the Quran, so they can play with the meaning, but they cannot do that. The Quran is the most stupid book ever. When the Quran says, sperm coming from the backbone, and the Muslim, they start saying, oh no, it doesn't say there, it says from the backbone. It says from the side of its, actually there's a Muslim, he posted there in one of the comment. Let me see which one. Yeah, I think I did not copy it. Very stupid religion. We can demolish Islam very easy. You believe in the Quran, you don't believe in the Quran, you believe in the Hadith or not, who care? We have tons of evidence that Muhammad is a fraud. All cult leaders, they share one thing. They want your money and they want your wife, Panty. All of them. And Muhammad is no exception. To the point even the Muslims are proud about the Prophet, penis. I mean, look at this religion. They are forced into sexuality and that suppose they will prove that Muhammad is a prophet. The prophet used to do boom boom to his wives. And they go like in, in their speeches, in their houses, speak about how powerful the prophet was. He used to do boom to all the, his wives in one night. And then we find that Muhammad, he did not. Muhammad, he can't even have sex with one of his women. And the reason he was exaggerating his lies about how many women he can sleep with because simply he have a problem. So he speak about it thinking that he will cover the news about him, he cannot have sex. This is Muhammad exposed by his wife, the sexual Muhammad. The prophet continue for such and such a period, imagining that he had boom boom, between two bracket, had sexual intercourse with his wives. In fact, he did not. Even this one have no witnesses. Even the sex of Muhammad, not only he saw an angel, nobody saw him. He received Quran, nobody saw him. The wife did not see him. The wife did not, she did not even hear, hear the, the angel talking to him. There's no witnesses of anything. But even sex have no witnesses? Yes, there's no witnesses. Muhammad never had sex. And they excuse that Muhammad under black magic, we love. What black magic? A Jewish guy, he controlled the penis of the Prophet? I mean, aren't you ashamed even to say it? That somebody took some hair from the private part of Muhammad and he made magic over him? So his penis is not functioning? And what kind of God he could not protect his Prophet from black magic? 
And why all those things happen to Muhammad only? The Muslims who they are insulting me in the chat, I would like you to give me an answer. Like Ibn Hayyan, why you don't call me Ibn Hayyan so we can laugh? Can you tell me how the Prophet was not protected by Allah and he was imagining things? When your Prophet, he was imagining himself having sex and he was doing sex, obviously, but with something else, not with the wives. Can you explain to us what happened? You can call me names, who cares? I'm, I'm, I'm nobody, I'm not a Prophet. You can say whatever you want about me. Who care? I'm no one. I'm not a priest. I'm not a bishop. I'm not a prophet. I'm nobody. So you can say whatever you want about me. Who care? But you cannot defend your prophet. And this is your prophet wife saying that your prophet is crazy. This is a proof to us that Muhammad is suffering from mental illness. How we can trust Muhammad that he saw an angel if this guy is imagining things? What is the proof that Muhammad, when he saw an angel, it was a goat, not an angel? What? Huh? And actually, everything Muhammad he said proved that he's mental illness per person. Like, here we go, he's teaching you about farting. If you pray and you fart, don't leave the prayer until you hear it and smell it. So until everybody is, is screwed around you? Is that a teaching of God? The farting prophet, he's expert. When you say Allahu Akbar, shaitan, start farting, here we go. Once the prophet was bewitched, the bewitched prophet, you agree that your prophet was a bewitched prophet? So how we will follow a man he is bewitched? Any Muslim can tell me? You come to me, and you are a Muslim, and you show me that you follow a prophet, he was bewitched. And then you say to me, so he began to imagine that he had done a thing, in fact, he did not do. For how long? Refute for the men theist video on Aisha age, if you have guts, my friend, I do not need to. Here we go. I can refute him in two seconds. Here we go. This is your stupid book. <laughs> refute, guys. Refute. Can you refute Aisha age? Yeah. You're trying to say your name here so you can be famous. This is the same guy who make a video. Come in here because nobody go to see his video. Yeah. I do not need to refute him. Aisha, she will give him a finger. In his nose for sure. Is that Aisha saying that I was six years old? So how you can refute that, stupid idiot? I do not need to refute anyone. Because when you make a video saying, no, this is not true, you are saying Aisha is a liar. <laughs> refute if you have guts. Look who's talking about guts. Do your prophet have a guts? Do I need to refute that Aisha was six years old? No, I do not. No, anyway, Aisha saying that. Is Aisha is a liar? Refute if you have guts. Aisha saying that. Refute if you have guts. It's stupid. Mental illness. It's not me who said that, it's your prophet wife. If you if you can idiot, it's not me who's saying that. I should say that. I challenge you if you that stupid idiot. It's not me who's saying that. It is Aisha saying that. And it's all over your books. It's Sahih. Look, 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 look how Sahih it is. Sahih. <laughs> sahih. If you if you can do that, stupid. If you uh, idiot. You are not going to refute me. You have to refute Aisha. And look like the one who slept with Muhammad himself, she did not know her age. A guy who come a 1,400 years after, he will refute Aisha. He will correct her. Aisha, you stupid. You did not have sex with the Prophet at that age. Come here, come here, Aisha. Come here. No, here, here. Sit in my... Yeah, here. Okay. Aisha, listen. I want you to go and change the hadith. Okay? Because the Prophet did not have intersexual intercourse with you at that age. Okay, now Aisha, she's going to come and she will go. The Prophet, he married me when I was six years old and he consummated the marriage when I was nine. I told you, don't change it. You want to refute me, you idiot?
stupid people. And suppose he's excited. Cookie. You're like Erdogan. Big mouth. But his 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 his, his country is bankrupt. He speaks too much, he makes too much noise so the, the European Union to give him money. Because his country is dying. He make too much problems, so they give him, come on, give you, I will give you 500 million dollars, okay? Just sit down, don't make problems. Make noise. But your fault will never become a cloud. Trust me. The follower of the prophet of farting. The only one who made a connection between farting and his God is Muhammad. And look how much respect he have. That when you pray to Allah, Shaitan, he start farting. Knowledge, special knowledge. Muhammad, he went to the college and he took a course in farting. Long course, big course. He read like thousands of books. If you go and search in the books of Hadith about the word farting, you will go crazy. This prophet, he have a specialty, farting. Abu Hurairah reported, the messenger of Allah saying, when Satan he hear the call to the prayer, he turn his back and break wind. Like what? Uh, look at this guy. Stop bringing things out of context. I did? Out of context? Ah, she said she is six years old. I bring things out of context. Poor guy trying to promote his channel. Nobody is going there. If you want really Muslim to uh, subscribe to your channel, just put somebody there so you will see your view will go crazy. Hmm? How the prophet he noticed that when shaitan he hear the prayer, he fought. And why shaitan he fought? And how he can fought? And how come we cannot hear it? And how come we don't sweat it or smell it? Very strong in knowledge, you know, the Prophet, he knows a lot. Nobody can beat the Prophet of farting with his farting knowledge. If you go right now and search in the in YouTube about what to do if you fart in the mosque, you will find thousands of videos. You know, the, the Shia al Khomeini, he said to the Sunni, you have an extremely huge library, library if what is under the belt and down, which means in sex and farting, and, you know, supposedly the Shia is better. Do you remember the guy who, uh, who was teaching the Muslims about farting? About what shaitan he do to you when you go to the bathroom? How the Prophet he knew those things unless he is true Prophet? And the funny, the Muslim, they have tons of videos about science in the Quran. Science. A true story. The Quran is full of science. I mean, we have to agree. Hadith of Tirmidhi says, it says, yeah, when you give the Adhan, the Shaitan, he not only runs, but the Hadith says, Lahu Durat. You know what Durat is? Durat is. That's too much knowledge, my friend. <laughs> He runs and as he's running, yeah, his fart comes out. Lahu <laughs> durat. I'm not making this the hadith. And listen to the hadith. Like the Muslims are laughing. He's saying to don't laugh. This is what the Prophet said. The hadith. The hadith says though. So. The hadith is not me, because they are laughing. So he's saying to them, the fool is not me. The fool is your Prophet.
The hadith says so. You first, you know what the deen is about. The deen is about getting the shaitan away from you. So you know you go into the toilet. You know, Bismillahi Allahumma inni a'udhu bika min al khubuthi wal khabais. So Allah protect me from these devils. You you go in there with your left foot. The left foot you went in, you get a reward for that. Hold on, you cannot go with the right foot, brother. Muhammad says so. Hold on, there's risk. Don't ever go with the right foot. You have to go with the left foot, brother. Why? Because if you go with the right foot, shaitan he will play with your anus. Knowledge of Allah, the Prophet said so. You're in the toilet, shaitan can't see you anymore. That's in a hadith. That's it. You say with, you go with the left foot and you say the prayer, you're invisible. I used that once in the bank robbery. I went in the bank with my left foot. I said the prayer, Muhammad, he says, the police and the security did not see me. I took all the money in the bank, brother, and I left. I, was, I became invisible. So you enter the bathroom with the left foot and you say the prayer, brother, and you became invisible. That's that's true story. Right? If you don't say the dua, what happens is... What will happen? Oh, don't do that. You don't say the dua, you don't say the prayer? What will happen? Look at this. The shaitan not only comes inside, but the hadith of Tirmidhi says he plays with your bowels. Oh boy. Now look what happened to you, you idiot, because you did not say the prayer. Shaitan now is inside your ass. May Allah ask you. See what you did to yourself. You are in the bathroom now and you are trying to solve your problem to get it out and you are pushing it down, excuse my language, and shaitan is blocking it. Stupid. Why you don't why you don't follow the teaching of Allah? Plays with your bowels. He plays with the bowels. So you're inside there, you're thinking you're gonna be out there in five minutes. He's taking you 20 minutes and you're still not halfway there. You know why? Because Uncle Shaitan is going, ooh, ooh, la la. See? True story, brother. The Prophet says so. The Prophet says so. I mean, we are, this is why they are ashamed of the hadith. You see what? Trying to get rid of it. But in their schools, in their universities, in their mosques, they teach it. But in front of us, they deny it. Because they knew it's a shameful, it's stupid. So they try to hide the stupid prophet teaching by denying what his what their prophet said. Doctor Fartin. So now because you did not say the prayer, Shaitan is blocking your anus. Who oh, all the Christian they go in the bathroom and they have no problem. Oh brother Shaitan, he target only Muslims. Look at this religion conspiracy even against their anus. Muslim, he see conspiracy wherever he go. If you eat pork, there's conspiracy against him. If you uh, if you listen to music, conspiracy against Islam, brother. You go inside the bathroom, shaitan playing with his anus. He have sex with his wife, he have to say a prayer, otherwise shaitan, he will rub himself around the penis of the Muslim. This is the religion of conspiracy of a stupid man, his name is Muhammad. And now, as long as I left you with something nice, it's farting. So I hope you have, you guys, you have a good time. Already we are here for three hours, something, three hours, 33 minutes. So you see how short the video is. I said to myself, let me go for 15 minutes. 15 minutes, uh, three hours, 33 minutes. All right, that's a very short video anyway. So I want to say, guys, thank you very much for being here. And I really appreciate all of you. Don't forget to subscribe. And don't forget to download the videos with those because we don't keep them for long, as you know. So don't forget to download the video, share them with your friends. Uh, you can cut them pieces, like those who call me today. You can, uh, you know, uh, uh, cut the video, make it only their call if you want. Uh, you know, whatever topic you want, you can do editing for the video. Just be honest and don't play with it. And uh, uh, add subtitle, translate your language, whatever you want. Let the whole world see what Islam is about. Islam is made by a stupid man and he have nothing good except stupidity unless stupidity is good for you sometimes stupidity is good you know sometimes honestly I wish I'm like stupid stupid you know you put your head you sleep right away uh, life for you is just to eat you know whatever I mean life is very simple and you just live like nothing Nothing to think about. Stupidity sometimes is comfort.
And maybe this is why keep why they are staying in this religion. Because stupidity brings comfort. Thinking will bring headache. It's too much. It's harmful to a brain never been used. How you can make a brain work again after years of rust? It's not easy. But my friend, we are here with the help of the Lord and he will take your rust away. All those Muslims we speak to them today, including the idiot one, we hate none of you. We are here to help you. We are not against you. We are against stupidity. None of us is against the Muslims. We are against Islam because Islam is a stupid religion, dangerous religion. Islam is anti-human, anti-security, anti-health. I mean, imagine a religion promote drinking piss of the camel. Suddenly, drinking wine is a sin and drinking piss is a blessing from Allah. Everything is awkward in this cult. So until I see you again, I say, may the Lord bless you. Pray for the Muslim to see the truth and the truth will set them free. Don't hate them, help them. And this is what we do. We fight against the terrorists, yes. We are peaceful with people of peace, yes. We love to save Muslims, yes. But that does not mean giving hugs. That's mean to have a person saying the truth as it is not by compromising and being hypocrite. Today, sadly, many Christians, they think that a good, a good Christian is somebody he is hypocrite. Somebody he say Islam is good, just to preserve peace, supposedly. That will not make peace happen, my friend. You are just putting dust over your own eyes. Islam is evil, no matter what you say. Saying it is peace will not change the fact that you are an idiot and Islam is not peace. Never be perfectly correct. It's an illness, it's a sickness. Not me for sure. Thank you. May the Lord bless you. And I will see you soon again. Christ is Lord. Islam is false. And we prove it every day. Take care.